Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome on back to a little randomized perfection action. I'm your host, Argon Matrix. You may have heard of me from Randomized Perfection, or other such classics as The Price of Perfection, The Ultimate Iron Man, or Fibrous Farm. Maybe even a little gift a thon. I don't know, but. <laughs> Your first stream without the gold clock goal, Annika. It's a new era. Exclamation point goal. How was everyone's weekend, by the way? Anyone get up to anything exciting over the weekend? It has been a uh, it's been a hot minute. It was it was a very high high during that last stream, and now we've got to we've got to come back down to earth and realize oh, there's still like most of the challenge remaining, at least goal wise. Time wise, who knows? But but goal-wise, you're learning to play the lyre switch glitch. That is a that is a unique instrument to learn how to play. I'm jealous. The lyre is very beautiful, honestly. In bed ill this weekend. Get better soon, Epsilon Aphrodite. I wish you all the best. Sending healing vibes your way. From Let's Argon from Let's Play Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Real, one, real ones know. Thank you, Nightbot, for waking up at, lo at long last. Pin this message. Our new goal, should we choose to accept it, which we don't really have a choice, but <laughs> it is to craft a bone mill. The worst goal is arguably finished. It, it did throw me a curveball after, like, right after. Like, I was fully expecting... I was hyping it up because I was like, you know, if I hype it up and then it'll be funny if it's something like ship wood... And then the randomizer actually had the gall to give me, like, a pretty hard challenge. <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> all right. Word. You know what? Fair enough. I, I only have myself to blame, honestly. I truly only have myself to blame. I challenged it, indeed. Your dad's boss used to say, You mission, you mission if you choose to accept it, and you will... <laughs> Yeah, bone mill. No, no one was expecting the bone mill. That's not true technically. When I went back and I watched the the vod or like that part of the vod, I was like, I looked back at the chat and there there was like one person that uh, predicted the bone mill correctly, which was pretty pretty wild. Pelinar, was it you, Pelinar? Did you did you call the you called the bone mill? That's what I. Th okay, yeah. Man, <laughs> it's just the way it goes sometimes. It's the way of the world. Bone mill has some sub goals that are not going to be easy. Crafting the bone mill itself, like getting the resources to craft it, that should be totally fine. You're right that the uh, the sub goals, i.e., getting the recipe to craft the bone mill, is going to be the hard part by far. By the way, there is still work going on on my roof that's been going on pretty much all weekend. They're supposed to be done by like the 31st of August, um, but it shouldn't be as loud as it was last time either because they moved on to different areas. So. There might be a few thumps and thuds here and there, but for the most part, it should be fine. You weren't predicting it necessarily. You were saying it would it would be hard. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get into it here, we do have a little bit of fan art to go over. Just one lovely piece. Just, you know, one last hurrah to the gold clock. From our good friend, stream regular. I don't know if I don't have here right now, but Jelly Oceana made this lovely little piece for us right here, just to, to to remember the moment. It was it was a beautiful moment. I love that the picture of the gold clock has it behind a tree. Dude, what the heck was that placement of the gold clock? I don't even know what I was thinking. I just like I like having it like I wanted to have it like you know right where you could see it all the time, just as a reminder. But it's like it's right behind a tree. It's so good. Gotta love that hype train. Okay, goosebumps just thinking about it. It was it was a lot for sure. Visible. <laughs> Very well done, Jelly Oceana. Thank you for this. And thank you to all the fan artists who have shared fan art over the past uh, year and a half or so. If you'd like to share your own fan art to have it seen on stream, exclamation point Discord. There's a link to the Discord there or in the description below the stream um, where you can uh, submit your art to the fan art channel. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited at all. At all. Credited. Credited. 
Credit is a weird word to say. Either way, I digress. Thank you so much. All right. And before we actually load into Stardew, I want to... We're, we're going to take a brief little detour because some of you may have seen floating around the Stardew community is this new little game. It's, it, this is going to be a very brief little detour, I promise. But I had to... I have to experience this with all of you, okay? Have you, has anyone heard of Puffertle? Puffertle. It is a Stardew-themed Wordle-like. If you don't know about Wordle, it's like where you guess like the... It's like where you have to guess a five-letter word and you get six guesses and it like, as you guess, it gives you like information based on it. Uh, I saw Shawnee do playing this and you tagged it to me on Twitter. Bex, I don't check my Twitter as often as I, as I used to, but thank you. I'm glad you thought of me because when I saw this, I was like, this game is made for me. So let's let's dive in together and I'll, I'll show you how it works here, okay? Let me bring you on in. So this is Puffertle. It's very basic. You got daily random fish tank options. We don't, we're only going to worry about the daily for right now. And it should come up with instructions, I think. So we don't have to necessarily worry about all this. Basically what it is, is it gives you a random fish from Stardew Valley. And then you, you catch it. You like get try and get like a feel for its pattern. And then you have to guess it. And then based on like your guess, it'll tell you whether the season you guessed was right, whether the weather was right, location, time, all that stuff. And then from, from that information, we can try to narrow down which fish it is if we didn't get it right the first time. We get six tries. How is it spelled? This is a... It, maybe it's on the... Oh, hold on. I'm catching a fish. Wait a second. I'm, ca I'm going to catch this bullhead really quick, and then we'll, I'll, I'll enlighten you. It is called Puffertle. This is P-U-F-F-E-R-D-L-E. I should probably link it in the, in, the, in the description or something like that. So that, that was a relatively easy fit. Like, God is my witness. That's a bullhead, dude. That was 100% a bullhead. There's no way. I know my fish. Okay. <laughs> it's a bullhead like. All right. And I, I did put this on hard mode, by the way. Hello, by the way, Allie. Who's that mod I see? It's, I, this is a, I put it on hard mode because normally when you hover over these fish, it'll tell you like, um, it'll tell you where the, where they're normally caught, where there's, what season they're caught in, what time you can catch them. I didn't want any of that. I feel, feel like that's, that's cheating because I should know all these fish off the, by the, like off, off like the back of my hand, basically. All right, so the season was partially right, the weather was partially right, and the time was partially right. A bullhead can be caught, the location was not right, so it's not the mountain lake, we know that for a fact. The weather, bullhead can be caught in any weather, so this has to be a weather specific fish, right? This has to be a weather specific fish. So it's either rain only or sun only. Season, I thought I think bullhead is every season. I might be wrong on that one though. So I'm gonna start think of a rain fish. A rain fish that can be caught. Is a bullhead all day? Bullhead might be all day. I'm gonna go. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start with rain fish just to see if we can get a weather. Give me a catfish. Okay, it is a rainy day fish. It is a river fish. Okay, and catfish is is not an all-day fish. Catfish is only early in the day. So this is a later day rain fish. It's caught in not only the river, but well, it could be a river fish or it could be, where else is the catfish caught? It's caught in the secret woods or it's caught in the, um, the swamp, the witch's swamp. The only, I don't think anything in those spots is rainy day. So that narrows it down pretty effectively to the river. I'm gonna hit you with a rainy night fish. Give me a walleye on this one. Okay, it's not a walleye. What are you? You're a rainy, could you be a shad? A shad, I don't know the pattern of a shad all that well, to be honest with you. Boom, shad, shad acquired. Statistics, one fish caught, played one. Perf I got a hundred percent win rate here. Yeah, wood skip is not a rainy day fish. I was try I was avoiding looking at chat on that one because I didn't want to I didn't want to spoil it in case anyone knew. We did get the shad though. You love to see it. 
Fish Wordle. You love to, that's it's that's a fun little game. I think I could see myself playing more of that. Just like you know, what well, we could start each stream with the daily puff hurdle. That could be fun. Either way, I digress. Let's actually get into Stardew Valley now. You said Chad earlier meant Shad, Chad the Shad. Okay, let me boot up Smappy. This looks way more fun than the actual Wordle looks. It, it was literally made for me. I love Wordle and Wordle likes. Wordle and Wordle related games. And I love, uh... And I love, and I'm very proficient with Stardew Valley fish knowledge. Here, let me, let me link it real quick in, just in chat in case anyone wants to give it a look. It's literally just puffertle.com which is a, a hilarious word to say. It's just fun to say. There's that's that's the website if you're curious at all about it, if you want to try it yourself. There's the daily challenge, but then you can also do like random challenge to like just get a random fish if you want to just keep playing in, in case one is not good enough for you. Craft a bone mill that is our new goal. Oh my gosh, it feel it feels so weird. It's going to be so strange to play not with the gold clock in mind for the first time in so long, to be honest with you. Like, it feels wrong. I don't even I don't even know what to do with myself at, at the start off with here. Let's go ahead and bring it in, though. Okay. You got the first one in your first attempt. Good job, Ink Mousy. You scared how long the bone mill is going to take? All right, so we need to talk about strategy, right? About what the what the best approach to the bone mill actually is going to be. Um, so I looked into a, a few things between streams because we were kind of theorizing about it a little bit towards the end of last stream once we got it. We are going to... This is not where this belongs, by the way. Um, so, first and foremost, I should get this out of the way. We were talking about whether larger bones count for more bones for the quest. They don't. I, I tested all the different bone items, and they all count as a single bone item for the quest. So we need to get 100 bone items in some way, shape, or form. Um, bone fragments are the traditional way to go, but bone fragments are a little tough for us to get than, uh, than usual. Or than, than you might otherwise expect, I suppose. Yeah, the bo the bones do not count for do not do not count for more than one. Did I say they do, or did I say they don't? Because they they don't. <laughs> yeah, I tested I tested that. Um, enchant your hoe. We could get we could try and get the generous enchantment on our hoe. That does involve getting a bunch of cinder shards though, and cinder shards. Like, we have the prismatic shards to make it happen. Oh my gosh, the gold clock. It's right here. I can't believe it. <laughs> I still can't believe it. It's, it's here, and I still, I still refuse to believe it. It's just, it's well hidden, too. All right. Um, I should check. Uh, let me just, let me just go through my daily motions while I talk about this. Yeah, chests in the volcano, in the volcano mine can, do have a chance to give you cinder shards, but they, it, that would be a very, laborious process to make that happen and I don't know if it's worth it here are the um in my testing here the bet I found I figured the best way to like know the approach on how we should do this is just test it off stream so I tested a bunch of different methods as to like what I think the ideal way to get bone items would be and my I, I came up, I came up with two takeaways. Number one, Skull Cavern is cracked. Like I I did a test a trial run on my like test farm where I went through Skull Cavern with like 200 staircases, which is pretty normal for us to be able to to like get up to 200 staircases and do a Skull Cavern run. And I got 50 bone fragments just from breaking open the uh, crates and barrels. So that that is that was pretty big. Um, we also, I wanted to check this, I wanted to check, what's, what's our combat experience up to? We're up to 28 combat experience. We have a decent amount of leeway there. 
for killing skeletons. Skeletons only give six combat experience, and they have a chance to drop bone fragments, if, like a pretty high chance to drop multiple bone fragments. So we could try and eke out a few bone fragments towards the end if we need to that way. Um, we do have a few artifact troves here and some Omni Geodes and stuff, which we can manipulate to get... The only thing we can get out of an artifact trove that is a bone item, as far as I can tell, is a bone flute. Which is still something. Like, this is technically, if we manipulate it right, it's six bone flutes. Tilling in the Mines? Does Tilling in the Mines... I actually didn't look into Tilling in the Mines. Does it, are there bone items you can get from Tilling in the Mines? Uh, mining level is also something worth at least looking at. We have 61 mining experience, and I believe bone nodes give, what, like six or seven mining experience each? So we could definitely do some of that. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of leeway with mining, but there is still some room if we need to. Does trading tarot for bones at the island trader count? Um, I was under the impression you could train bo trade bone fragments for taro, not the other way around. Because if we can grow taro and trade it for bones, then that might... Uh, taro tubers? Wait, do we... Is it Does it trade for bone fragments, or do we trade for... Trade bone fragments for taro tubers? That's what I thought. I didn't think it was the other way around. If it could be the other way around, that would be great. Um... But speaking of Ginger Island, that is actually a great place to look because artifact spots on Ginger Island. Um, let me actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring this up real quick because I, I want to show you something. A, a neat little flash of inspiration that I had about this. This is something I did not know, for the record. Let me. Um, let me bring you over here. This is the right screen region, right? Yeah, this looks right. Alright, so we got Bone Fragment here. Bone Fragment. So you can get them from Artifact Spots. Um, Artifact Spots specifically. We go to the page on Artifact Spots here. Check this out. Where is it? On Ginger Island. On G So you can get Bone Fragments from regular Artifact Spots that are not on Ginger Island 2 to 5, but only after completing the Fragments of the Past quest. So that is not going to work for us. Um, but what will work is you can get one to four bone fragments. The number of fragments increases with luck and mining level of all things. So I was wondering, this this got my the wheels in my brain churning a little bit. Mining level. What if we buff our mining level and then go and then like dig up all the artifact spots on Ginger Island? And you know what we can do if we go let's go mining. You go mi Miner's Treat, right? Miner's Treat gives you a plus three mining buff. And you can buy them from our homie. We can buy them from the homie every single, like, we don't have to, like, wait for anyone, like, any random food drops. You can just buy them from from the dwarf. So that, that could be a possible out for us to increase our overall bone percentage. I'm not going to say, you know, it's going to be the be-all, end-all, but any any leg that we can get up on this uh, on this goal, on getting all these bones, is going to be pretty, pretty huge, I would think. Let me get back into the game here. Big brain moves there. I literally was, like, looking up stuff, like, just before the stream to figure out, like, all right, what's, what are some good approaches here? And that was one that I... It kind of gave me a little brain blast. Every idea that the homie is in is a good idea. You're not going to find any arguments for me on that one. The animals won't miss me when I spend a whole week on the island. True, as long as I keep their hay topped up, we should be totally fine. Speaking of, did I let the animals out after winter? Or did I forget to do that in all the hullabaloo from, uh... I mean, not hullabaloo, but the, the well-deserved hullabaloo? The hype train of the gold clock? Yeah, Skull Caverns, I think, is still going to be our biggest out as far as getting bone fragments. Um, it's it's going to be by far our best option. I did let the animals out. Okay. I just wanted to double check that. We could... Okay, this was something we also discussed. This is not to do with, like, the current quest, but because debris will no longer spawn on our farm, what do you guys think? Should we let the animals roam free? We don't care now if they eat all the grass, because the grass does not serve a debris prevention purpose anymore. 
So we could just let the animals like roam everywhere. We, we just take the fence, take the, take this fence down. Is it finally time to say goodbye to this enclosure? But the danger we do, there will always be a danger that if we, you know, we might accidentally right click an animal, pet them, and have to reset the day. But on the on the on the flip side, if they're not confined to this enclosure anymore, then the uh, density of animals will be a lot smaller. So we're less likely to have to run into that issue. Like they'll like these animals that are normally clustered all around their buildings might be clustered in other areas of the farm. So what fence? <laughs> Our little invisible bonsai fence. I know, right? It's crazy. There's a fence here. You would never guess it. You'll never need to buy hay again. All right. I think it's time. We all seem to be on on the consensus here. It's time to free our animals. Be free, my friends. We're gonna. We're just gonna start. I don't even need to keep these because I can just get more out of the furniture catalog if I really need to. This might take a minute, but it's gonna be worth it. These animals, they've been cooped up, and not just the ones in their literal coops, but every animal has been penned in here for too many years. And they, I'm glad that they're still happy. I'm glad that they're, that they found happiness in this enclosure. I hope that letting them roam in an area that's like four times the size or more is not gonna to be too overwhelming for them. But I'm sure they'll get used to it over time, even if it is. Be free, my friends. Literally cooped up. We could always put the fence back. That's true. We could always reinstate the fence if we find that we're, that we're missing it. But something tells me we're not going to miss it. Because the, the only reason I really had to have them cooped up in the first place was because they would eat the grass that was everywhere around. And that would allow more debris to spawn, which is kind of the entire point of having the grass around. But now, the, the grass serves an entirely different purpose. It's literally just food for the animals. Don't forget the stone cairns, too. The stone cairns can stay. They're just they're a feature at this point. All right, crystal chair we want to keep because it's not something that's replaceable. Dark throne uh, can, get, can get yeeted, though. Yeah, the stone cairns are... They're a legacy item. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. I love the bonsai trees, too, but the stone cairns have a legacy all to their own. They're they're our homies main addition to this farm at the current at the current point. Stone cairns forever, exactly. Alright, I gotta be a little careful here. We're getting a little close to our animal friends. Okay. There are a few bonsai trees over here as well. They're not as important to take care of, but I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the entire thing. If I actually you know what? Maybe I should wait until it's honestly not that important to get these ones out of the way, so I'm not gonna risk accidentally petting an animal, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it go for right now. I can come back and get them at a later date if I really need to, but for now, be free. Look, they're already starting to roam. They're like, what? There's an entire world beyond those knee-high bonsai fences. I can't believe it. They're discovering that the world is so much bigger than they than they realized for the first time. It's like when you grow into, it's like when you hit puberty or something like that. And realize just how much bigger the the world is beyond you. We also got a crop fairy last night, which was pretty nice. So we do get a a little bit extra ancient fruit here, which I am I'm happy for. One one little ancient fruit in that one Junimo hut there. That's pretty good. Look at how many owl statues this farm has. Do you think they'll confuse the owl statues for real owls to start off with? I don't even know if they're going to get to the owl statues. To be honest with you, there there's a lot of Despite the gold clock now being here to prevent future debris, there's a lot of existing debris that makes navigating the farm pretty rough. Okay, um, let's go ahead and pop that in there. Pop this in here. Uh, it's not cask day yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these away. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if we need to keep up cask day. We should do a little bit more like money grinding just so we have some money to work with. This crystal chair. I'm going to put it over here so I can just sit and admire my fish from time to time if I want to. Literally, they were cash cows. I, I wonder how what like percentage of our gold clock income or our gold clock like fund came from those cows. 
Yeah, that was that was our that's the main reason we had so many animals was to get money for the gold clock. It was it was a crazy time. Okay. Um I feel like I should get my inventory like is this what do I want in my inventory anymore even? I guess I can take my tools back out again. The hoe is going to be instrumental eventually once we actually get the quest. This that's that's goal number 1 by the way. We have to get the quest. We we have to get the quest, the fragments of the past special order from the special orders board. So, I think what we should do here, to be honest with you, I'm going to keep the jade on me. And I think what we do is we we basically sleep, we'll do our our chores, our requisite like money-making chores just so we can, just out of fa out of habit at this point, but also because we're going to need money in, money in the future anyway. Um We'll do all that. Do I have... I do have some large goat milk here. I might as well keep the goat cheese grind going. And I don't actually need these. If I'm... Might as well save some inventory space here. Um... I'm not going to keep going on the... On the common mushroom seed maker grind, I don't think. I don't... That seems... Like, if we're not, like, making money, or, like, our prime goal isn't making money, I don't think we need to worry about that. We're so poor now, I know. it. I mean, it's gonna build up again fast with the ancient fruit harvest and everything, but for now, it's gonna feel pretty rough. So here's my game plan for right now. Let me know if this sounds good, or if I should be focusing on anything else. Um, sleep most most of the time just sleep right until sunday on sundays we go and trade whatever jades we have for staircases and then on monday we check for the fragments of the past special order and we just rinse and repeat that until we get the fragments of the past and we have a comfortable amount of staircases i think that's that seems like the best plan of action because every other plan to get to uh, bone fragments is just something we have to kind of do in the moment. One thing I actually think we should uh, should concern ourselves with as well is these artifact troves and omni geodes. These can help us a lot with, uh, or help us at least a little bit to shore up our bone supplies if we need to. So I think at the end of every season, or alternatively when we get the actual quest itself, we should whichever comes first basically, we should go around the farm looking for supply crates because they have a chance to give artifact troves and omni geodes so i think that is a smart idea too but basically until sunday well i guess a tomorrow will be cask day so we'll do we'll do that i'll just have that i'll just have these ready to go can't shirk my responsibilities just yet what about ancient fruit harvests we're gonna catch we're going uh we're going for catch as catch can I'm not sure what that means, <laughs> but I will still do my ancient fruit harvest as much as possible. Yeah, um, we have some ancient fruit thanks to that crop fairy that are going to be on Tuesdays, and then our our first actual like full ancient fruit harvest shouldn't be until uh, the like third Monday or so. It's like the 21st of spring. I, I know I know the day. It's just it's been a while. So, what about the the fruit trees? I think the fruit trees we can still keep going. For a little while like we we're still gonna need money in the future either for various goals or just odds and ends that we have to spend money on so i think it still behooves us to do to continue with these chores at least for the foreseeable future right miners treat miners treat we actually i don't really need to worry about stocking up on because i can just buy them whenever i whenever i need them from our, from the dwarf the dwarf they don't they don't close up shop they're always there for me when nobody else got my back the homie there for me so i'm just gonna when, when push comes to shove and we end up going to ginger island to do that little strat of artifact spots and stuff i think uh we can buy we can buy miners treats prior to taking that trip maybe at least fruit trees on sunday since we're going out anyway I think we'll do the greenhouse uh, like every every three days, like we have been. It will probably slow down on money collection. In fact, I don't even feel like I really need to do the mushroom cave, to be honest with you. We'll slow down on money on money collection, but keep in mind there are still multiple obelisk goals and a return scepter goal in our future, as well as like the movie theater. There's things that we're going to be needing this money for, so we might as well 
get ahead of the game a little bit if we if we can. Plus, old habits die hard, so. <laughs> and I can't guarantee there's going to be a payday every single stream anymore, probably, because that's not our main plan. Maybe we'll just like let the supplies build up. We'll sell them as we need as we need to in order to get money if we need it at that exact moment. And then uh, once a money goal drops, we can just sell everything that we have and hope that we did enough. Movie theater is half a million gold, which honestly is not that bad compared to like the th the amount of money that we're making off the back of ancient fruit the off the back of like ancient fruit alone, honestly. Based on the track record, it will be the next goal. Can't be that far off, right? All right. We should build our BFF a house. Pam does deserve a house, and that's not a goal. That's a that's a fact. It's not a randomizer goal, so I don't even need to worry about uh, about breaking the continuum with that one. We can just go build her a, a house at any point once we have the, the money and the resources, which we do not currently, but <laughs> but I think we could definitely do that. Uh, yeah, I don't even... Well, maybe I'll hit up the mushroom cave just for, like, honestly, for common mushrooms. Not that we don't have enough already, but I, I would like to... They're kind of my main food source right now, so the more the merrier, honestly. Plus, we're going to need to... We're going to need food for Skull Cavern anyway. Plus, plus, it gives me an excuse to go outside and get my daily farm screenshot. Get my daily steps in, my daily 200 steps. Whatever the case may be. Ooh, a little ancient fruit jelly. Don't mind if I do. I feel like ancient fruit jelly would taste like... Do you think maybe ancient fruit is the... Is the progenitor of blue raspberry flavor? Because there's no actual blue raspberries in real life, and it's an artificial flavor, or so we think, but ancient fruits actually are blue raspberry. I would believe it, honestly. The mythical blue raspberry has finally been discovered. What do you mean, you? <laughs> to each their own. I like, I like myself a blue raspberry flavored candy, for sure. Alright, we're good, right? Uh, I do need to restock the hay, though. I do need to restock the hay, because I am running dangerously low. That said, I mean, we do have, uh, the animals are roaming free now, so there's plenty more grass for them to take advantage of. I'm not sweating that too much. Nine, nine, nine pieces of hay. Alright, we got pretty much a full silo at this point. We are basically out of hay in our fridge, though, so we might need to top that up before too long here, but hopefully the grass will subsist them for a decent amount of time here. I'm amused by, by, the, idea of, by the idea of paying out the nose for blue raspberry wine. <laughs> it's really high quality blue raspberry wine. But maybe in like the Stardew verse, they've never tasted blue raspberry before. It's not like an artificial construct like it is in our world, so this is their first chance of getting it. I can scythe now, that's true. I can just, like, scythe all my grass to get hay if I need to. Um, but I might as well... I, I'll do that, like, towards the end of fall or alternatively when I'm... when I'm running low on hay. Because there's no need to right now when the animals can just eat it. Eat it! Eat it! If you see grass, then bleed it. That's that's one for the goats out there. Eat some more fiber. Make sure it's green. It doesn't matter if you're cat or chicken. <laughs> Just eat it. Eat it. Okay. So tomorrow is Sunday. I need to get into the into the habit of doing my date my Sunday runs to the Desert Trader and then Monday runs to the special orders board. And once we get uh fragments of the past, then we got a live one. You always walk in at the oddest times. Welcome in, Wickety. <laughs> oh, we're missing a peach, my bad. Wickety, I'm excited to on tomorrow's stream. 
um, I'm going to be trying your speedrun that you made, the DTG Dwarvish Translation Guide speedrun. For those who didn't see it, exclamation point wickety, go to her channel. She made a beautiful, amazing video about this Dwarvish speedrun. And I'm going to give it a try myself, because because I got the homie run, exactly. It was, it was, it spoke to me on a spiritual level. The homie run. I'm very excited to see how it goes. I feel like I'm not going to beat your time. At least maybe not on my first try, but I'm, I'm down for some friendly competition either way. Yeah, very good video on that one. Um, alright, tomorrow is an important day, but... For now, we can sleep. These jades are going to build up so nice and quickly now compared to what we had before, since we swapped out the diamonds for more jades at this point. We're going to be up to, like, 200 jades again in no time. Well, not, not 200 jades, but at least 200 staircases, because we're going to be consistently now trading jades for staircases basically every Sunday, I think. You recorded it over a year ago and finally got it edited. You recorded it before the the legacy of of our homie was even a thing. Before before even homie was even an utterance on the on the mouths of Stardew Valley fans anywhere. Truly ahead of the times. Ninety five staircases. Talk about being jaded. I wonder what she does with all those jades that we trade her. Maybe she probably just, like, sells them, honestly. <laughs> Turn a quick profit. They probably sell from more than staircases, if I had to guess. How many crystallariums do we have running jade? I believe we have eight. I think we have a total of eight crystallariums at this point. Had a feeling the homie would be important, just didn't know when. It's finally homie's time to shine. They've waited too long. Uh, we got, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven crystallariums. Okay. Pretty close. All right. Chat, is today our lucky day? I don't even know if I want today to be our lucky day where we get the fragments of the past quest because I don't feel like 95 staircases is going to be enough. But I'm willing to at least play it out. Can we get some bone emojis in chat? bone emojis to give us fragments of the past luck. Let's let's go see if we got the quest today. Will Gunther bless us. This could be the, the hardest part of this entire thing, by the way, is just getting this quest. It could come, like, extremely quickly, or it could be a, a teeth-gnashing grind. Prismatic jelly and island ingredients. I will take island ingredients... So that it can't, they can't give me island ingredients again. I don't have my hoe with me, otherwise I get that artifact spot. All right, that's okay. That means we just have another week to build up more staircases. Thank you for all the bones, though. We've entered the, we've officially entered the bone zone. Maybe that's why I'll say that when we actually start the challenge, though. Give us some good luck. Today chaos will ensue. Oh, I like those. I like those bones, Karita Heart. Karita Hearts. I use your full name. What the heck? I always call you Karita. I don't know where... I'm, I'm feeling quirky today. Alright. And tomorrow we'll have a little bit more ancient fruit. Honestly, I don't even think we need to check the ancient fruit on Tuesdays specifically. Because there's so few down there, because it's only the ones that, that the crop fairy hit, that the Junmos will probably have time in the amount of time it takes us to go to the mushroom cave and back to just harvest them, and then we can collect them on our next, like, full harvest day anyway. Swap the axe for the hoe. That's honestly probably a good idea. Well, let me ask you, can the hoe break seeds around the farm? I know the pickaxe can and the axe can. I don't know if the hoe can. I, something tells me, no, it can't. It can. If it can, then I think we definitely swap the axe for the hoe at this point. Alright, it's not cask day, but the, the keg is throwing me off because I picked it picked it up early. So we can we can give it a try. Because I would like to have something that I can take out uh that I can take out seeds with. 
I guess I, I mean, I could just have like all, all of them on there technically. I could just have like all three tools on my, on me belt. But I need room for the fruit tree fruits. Your initial reaction was no, then you second guess yourself. Are all of our banana trees iridium now? I think they are. I believe this I believe the answer is yes. Every single fruit tree has made it to iridium quality. Just in time. Well, not really, but <laughs> Got the gold clock in less time than it took to get all the bananas to iridium. True. I mean that should that should be a no-brainer most of the time, but for us that's kinda it was kinda close, honestly. It was it was it was perilously close. Approximately four years for the majority of the grind. It really puts it in perspective, don't it? Yeah, it was it was very, very close. I love that we were so, like, like on the button as well when we actually sold everything for the gold clock. We were, like, like over by, like, a few thousand dollars, which in comparison to 10 million is, <laughs> is basically nothing. It was pretty wild. Hold on, I'm going to pop over and turn on my fan because it's, it's a little warm right now. It's, we got a warm one on our hands. No rain for me today. It's all right. I'm sure it'll it'll come back in due time. It was nice and rainy and cool and and very enjoyable temperature for a bit around here, and now it's back to just like pure sweltering death heat. It's not like as bad as it was. I think today's probably like like I want. It feels like 30 degrees or something like that. I haven't actually checked specifically. Oh, I forgot to bring my forgot to bring my wine to replace this one. This kid, welcome on in. Finally able to catch a stream live. I'm happy to have you here as we start the new leg of our randomizer. Crafting this darn bone mill. How much, uh... How many streams do you guys think it's going to take for us to craft the bone mill? It shouldn't be in the realm of gold clock, but I don't know if we're going to get it... I don't know if we're going to get it in one. I think we could probably get it in two, honestly, if we get lucky enough. It, a lot of it does depend on when we actually get the quest. That's entirely true, but once we get it, we might uh, might be surprised at how fast it goes. Seven, says Wickety. <laughs> Six streams, two, three, one, 1. 1.5, one to three, five, two to three. I think two to three is probably a safe bet. I think if we get astronomically lucky this stream, we could get it. I'm not even like, I'm not even putting on airs though. I, I I really do believe might be the peak of exclamation point optimism right there. I think there's a chance. Yeah, this stream. Why why not this stream? Why not now? Why not us? We already have like over a hundred staircases banked for Skull Cavern. That's, if we play our cards right, that's going to be a sizable amount of bone fragments. Ginger Island, we got, we got, we got strats out the wazoo here. We're going to make it work. One way or another. Seems unlikely. Do doesn't sound like exclamation point optimism to me, but you know... We have to. We do have to balance out optimism with realism from time to time. So I respect it. Chat apropos of nothing at all. Do you want to know what I found the other day? I was looking for more music to put on the stream playlist because I'm always looking for other other songs that fit the vibes. And as you do, I was browsing the free YouTube audio library just in case there's anything I missed. There's not like a whole lot in there. So I like I've been able to like look through most of the songs that I think would be like in the right genre slash style to to fit to fit it. I didn't find anything. I I didn't add any any new songs, but I did find a song with with a startling name, a startling in the fact that I was like, 
there's no chance that this is actually the name of a song in the YouTube audio library for like, cause it's too fitting. It was too, it was too perfect. You, can you guess what the name of the song was? It's, it's like a, a song that relates like to our community. <laughs> it's, it's the, the name, it was, it was insane. Tim Beam? It's not, it's not Tim Beam. That would be amazing. Kazoo for my homies. <laughs> no. It, it might be simpler than anyone thinks. Golden Matrix. I don't, there might be a song in there with like Matrix in the name, but that would be, that's a more understandable one. The Chemistry song. I dropped a peach. Thank you. Also not the name of the song though. Haley, Cactus Fruit. The name of the song is Argon. It's just Argon. It is, admittedly, it's spelled A-R-G-O-N-N-E. So it's like, it's like a female version of Argon. But I was like, whoa, that's wild. I listened to it and it doesn't fit the vibe at all. But I was like, man, that's, ni that's nifty. <laughs> like a sturgeon. Maybe I can put like a sturgeon in the free audio library. Although probably not, because I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think, uh, I think there's some copyright issues there. Argon is the default name for my default alarm tone, by the way. Really? Personal theme tune? Argon. It's like, a, it's like a fancy Argon. Fancy version of the gas. Maybe that's the French name for Argon? I don't even know. Actually, it, I, that could be. It plays every time I walk into a room. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I'm not opposed necessarily to having a theme song. I don't think it's the theme song for me, though. It was a very spooky song. It's like, it's got like dark undertones to it. Which like fair. I also have dark undertones to me, but not like really dark undertones. Thank you, Pam. Just like, you know, you know, I'm just going to sell the energy tonic. No, no reason to save it for a payday anymore. Alternate universe Argon, who always completes video games as swiftly and easily as possible. That's if I had taken the, the speedrunner pill as opposed to the challenge runner pill. Argon is a multidisciplinary science and engineering research center. Thanks, Google. <laughs> if Argon is a noble gas, Argon is an arist aristocratic gas. Bourgeoisie gas. Argon, ooh la la. Alright, today is staircase day. Let's go get 21 more staircases, shall we? And we'll swing by the special orders board again. Well, not today, but tomorrow. It's also apparently a ghost town in South Dakota. Ghost towns are so cool, I wish they were real. I mean, I guess they're real in the fact that, like, there are towns that are deserted. And that's what the definition of a ghost town would be, but a town for ghosts, you know, Twilight Town from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, technically not a ghost town. I don't even know what the people are in that town. What are they called? They're called like the Twily. They're like weird, like they're like they're like stuffed animals. Paper towns are the ones that aren't real. They're real if you believe hard enough, though. If we all collectively agree that something is real, then then it can be real. Whether or not the, the structures that designate its existence are actually tangible or not. Alright. Here we go. Chat, is today the day? Is today the day that has Gunther blessed us with the quest? The longer we can go, I mean, I'd, I want to get it, but the longer we can go without getting it, 
the more staircases we can accrue and the higher our chances of actually completing the quest will be. Twily were the people from Zelda's Twilight Princess. That's That was the other thing I was thinking of. I was like, maybe I'm conflating my two Twilight zones from video games. Rock Rejuvenation and Crop Order. I'll take Crop Order on that one. Crop Order for 200, Lewis. Run it back. Cartographers made up Paper Towns as a way to test for plagiarism. It's super cool. I love the idea of Paper Towns. I think there's like things like that in dictionaries as well, right? There's like fake words that peep that dictionary creators put into dictionaries so that they they'll know if like another dictionary or another source has copied their their reference. Paper words. I feel like that's more dangerous, though, because, like, if you, like, make a fake word and put it in the dictionary, how is that not a, a real word, then? Because you've just made a word, and you're the dictionary. You, you get to decide what the words are. Well, I guess you don't get to decide. That, like, all of society, I guess, kind of decides what the words are. Uh, why aren't we going for gold coconuts? Ooh, Lid, you know what? That's actually a great idea. We should probably hit up Sandy every Monday to buy coconuts for gold coconuts, but that, that we don't have enough money to necessarily subsist that for very long. How much do the... Go well, I guess we do, because, like, coconuts how cost how much from Sandy? Like, 100? Might be more than that. And coconuts, yeah, gold coconuts give... have the chance to give skulls. They have the chance to give fossilized skulls, which could substitute our bone deficiency even further. Take us even further beyond. She sells them on Monday, right? Let's go. Let me go have a look because we could we could definitely make this part of our routine here. It's a good call because we need to go to Ginger Island anyway. Four hundred for a coconut, so that's four thousand every every week that we have to spend on that. That should be totally doable. Like once we once we run out of money here, we'll have built up a decent amount of stuff to sell to Pierre anyway, so we can just do that, and then we'll be... It, we're self-sufficient at this point. Bone deficiency makes me think of a person with no bones in their body. Make no bones about it. The fruit alone is just about 10k a day. Well, there you go. <laughs> we're still in the... We're still well in the black, then. Uh, I should leave artifact spots in case... I know they, like, disappear, but, like... Or they have a chance to disappear, but if they don't disappear, then we can maybe get some bones out of them when the quest actually rolls around. One way we're not getting bones, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think we can get any bones out of bees. I'm pretty sure bee... I don't know why I'm thinking of this specifically right now. What, what could have caused me to think of bees in particular, but... I don't think bees have bones. They have an exoskeleton. And you guys, you guys love the bee talk all of a sudden. Oh wait! It's the it's the anthem of a generation. B underscore boss dot O G G. Welcome back to the party. Vibe out. Look at those bees vibing. Bees with no bones. I feel like a bee skeleton would be like a, a cursed image you would see on the internet circa like 2002 or something like that. I don't know what makes me think that specifically, but <laughs> it just seems like something you would see and people would be like, is that real? I was going to start ad-libbing lyrics, but then I got shy. I'm feeling shy today, like Leo. Some, some days you just get that feeling, you know? Buzz, buzz, buzz. All right, can I break this seed with my hoe? You can, okay, that's good to know. I can't break saplings with my hoe, but beads are good to go. Yeah, bees would have an exoskeleton because they're an insect. And pretty and most insects, isn't like the def definition of insects, but like one of the defining characteristics of an insect having an exoskeleton? Like it's just part of the definition. This song makes you so happy. There's a reason we love it around here so much. 
snail skeleton with a skull shell. Is a worm an insect? I would say a worm is not an insect, right? It isn't a worm. It's an invertebrate. But it's not a an insect. All insects are invertebrates, but not all invertebrates are insects. I think that's probably a factual statement. Having an ex exoskeleton is one of the requirements of being a bug. Is bug a scientific term? I feel like I feel like bug is too casual of a term, but I'm I'm with you. Do spiders have bones? Spiders do not have bones. Sp spiders are arthropods, and they have an exoskeleton as well. Bug is a scientific term. Yo, that's that's cool, actually. I would not have guessed that. Well, this is our first ancient fruit wine. I was like, why isn't this sacking? It's because these are the last star fruit wine, and this is where we pivoted to ancient fruit wine. Finally, a, a last hurrah to the star fruit that brought us so far. Bugs have six legs. That's the definition I learned when I was in, like, third grade. I didn't know if that was, like, if that stood up to, like, peer review. I thought that was, like, a shorthand little trick you could use. Like, if it's got six legs, then it's probably an insect. But is that actually a rule? Is a centipede not a bug? I think a centipede is a bug, but a centipede is not an insect, right? Is, it, is a centipede is probably an arthropod as well? I feel like bug is like an all-encapsulating term, right? Hold on, I'm gonna take a quick hydration break for a second here. Although that does raise an interesting question. Is if bug Okay, so is bug a higher order term than insect? If so, question two, is a crab or a lobster a bug? Cause they're arthropods. They have they have the legs. Right? They got they got plenty of legs. Thank you, Pam. But they, I would refer to, I would not refer to a crab as a bug. I would refer to a crab as a crustacean. But maybe crustacean is also encapsulated in the all buggy goodness, the all buggy world tour. Hello, Greg. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm enjoying the stream so far. Hope you are as well. True crabs are arachnids. Now I'm getting morphological classification. Getting into morphological classification, and you know where that goes. I know, I shouldn't get into morphological classification again. That's when I get into trouble. You're right. We all know that. Rule number one of my streams, don't bring up morphological classification. It's not going to end well for anybody. Mr. Krabs is definitely not an insect. What the heck is this, man? Wait, can I can I pick up this coral? Can I pick up the coral without gaining far, f foraging experience? I forget what the rule was. It's, if it's part of the fishing collection, I can pick it up. If it's not, then I can't. I will. This will not stand. I will not abide this. That's my mushroom cave. I'm not letting you have it. For the first for the first time in what 13 years, 12 years, we've been denied access to our to our coral. Not to our coral, but by our coral. Coral! Coral! Get out of the way, coral! Alright, I need to be careful here though. Is the are there any rocks nearby? It does not appear so. I think I can bomb like right here and still and be pretty safe. Okay. And it only takes one, so we're good. Good song for vengeance bombing. 
This is my, t this is my turf. These are my mushrooms and you're not going to take them away from me. Ooh, artifact troves. Every one of these artifact troves is another chance for more bones. That could be two more bone flutes if we play our cards right. You would have laughed if that would have destroyed the well. What if it just like cracked a little hole in the well and made it so, and then the water flowed out of the well off uh, across our entire farm, and and then and then it was like irrigation, so we never had to water anything again. And it was it, it was a speed run trick that that I discovered, and it was it was a beautiful moment. What if? Have you ever had a dream that you could that you could that that you could that you think that you could be that you that you could be that you could do anything? That's not how wells work. Maybe not your wells. All right, this coming Monday should not only be hopefully our fragments of the past quest, we'll see. But it should be our first true ancient fruit harvest as well, I'm pretty sure. Non-crop non fairy subsidized. Pam! Pam is really buttering me up uh, lately. Giving me beer, battery packs, a little energy tonic here and there. You think she's, do you think she's trying to like hint at something? I mean, I like Pam, but I don't, I don't necessarily like her in like that way. She's a good friend. I don't know, maybe I'll, like, build her a house or something at some point. Did I get your reference? Coral! I, isn't that a... I don't know if I've ever seen it. Is that a Walking Dead? I've seen the meme around, and I think it's Walking Dead. But maybe, uh, maybe it's... Maybe I'm not cop, uh, pop culture pilled enough to... To know exactly what it is. Butterbeer? It is a Walking Dead meme. Llamas with hats. Llamas with hats is one of those that I'm one of those internet isms that I missed out on. It was in that same was it well llamas with hats was in the same era as like Charlie the Unicorn and stuff, right? So by all rights, I should have uh known about it at the time, because that was like when I was growing up in the internet age, but it was not part of my my internet lexicon. That one and uh, Salad Fingers, I also never really even knew about until much much later than it than it was uh, than it like started. I have seen Salad Fingers now. I still have not seen Llamas with Hats. The first YouTube video you watched was OMG Shoes. Oh my gosh. Memory unlocked? Look at my shoes. I don't even remember how it goes, but I know the exact video you're referring to. Alright. Sunday fun day, it's time for staircases. 21 more staircases, maybe even 28 if we get lucky with our crystallariums. Ooh! I guess luck had nothing to do with it. They were on a set pattern, but still, I wasn't keeping track of the pattern. Desert Obelisk. I will forever and always make an accidental misstep to the left before I remember that my Desert Obelisk is, is over this way instead. In my brain, it will always be over like where the greenhouse is, basically. All your base are belong to us. Isn't that from like the late 90s? I mean, it's, it was a meme on the internet later than that, obviously. Because memes didn't exist in the late 90s. They hadn't been invented yet. But it's from a game from, like, the late 90s. You remember E-Bomb's World and Star Wars Kid? Oh my gosh. <laughs> those two names alone can... If you if you say those two, two words or those two terms to the right person, you're going to be stuck there for the next, like, hour and a half talking about early 2000s internet culture. You'd be like, oh my gosh, I remember that. I remember the Star Wars Kid. Holy cow. Holy cow. Did you, did you ever go on Newgrounds? Did you see all those cool Newgrounds animations? J 
Chat, this is not PG-13, but what was those... What were those animations that... They were, like, really popular on Newgrounds back in the day. That featured, like, a bunch... It was, like, a stick figure dude, but he wasn't a stick figure, but he was, like, a minimalist design. And he would, like, go through places, and, like, a bunch of, like, dudes from, like, like security guards or something would, like, try and, like, hunt... Like, like stop him, but he was, like, a one-man army. So he would just, like, get into the fights and just, like, very smoothly take out everybody. Is anyone... Is this ringing a bell with anybody? I think there was, like, another character, like, a guy with, like, a clown mask or something. I'm not describing it very well, so I wouldn't be surprised if everyone was like, huh? But... No offense, but what are you saying? Valid. <laughs> Sounds about right. Henry... Not Henry Stickman, no. Am Confusion? Sounds vaguely familiar. There were like six installments of it, from what I remember. There's probably more than that, but it was it was a popular little animated series on Newgrounds back in the day. It's the only thing I remember from Newgrounds because I never really frequented that uh, that website. I was more of an addicting games and mini clip kid. Those were my uh, my core hangouts prior to like YouTube and stuff being a thing. All right, we got our we got our staircases right. 144 staircases. Is today the day? You know exactly what I'm talking about, but you can't remember the name either. Crumb B. <laughs> if if you remember, if you manage to figure it out, please let me know, because I need to I need to remember. It's probably something that I could Google with relative success, just based on like the time it was popular around, because it was it was pretty popular. I feel like it's also one of those that if I saw the name of. I would instantly know, like, th yes, that's it. It's not Henry Stickman, but it's kind of like a similar vibe, but it's not actually, like, stick figures. Bone emojis in the chat, by the way. Bone emojis? Because we need a good bone mo for Gunther to bless us with his amazing bone quest. Gunther, please. I've got a hundred bones ready and waiting for you. Well, not not ready and waiting, but I will. I'll make it happen. I'll do it. You just have to put some a little faith in me. Just a little faith, but Gunther, why? I don't I I mean it doesn't even matter if I take any of these, because they'll be done by the time the quest board rolls over anyway. Rip. Oh well. We climb ever closer to two hundred staircases at least. He's not ready for my bones. Just joined for the first time to this. Duckman, welcome. You're in a safe place, I promise. Despite all the bone talk, there is it is a it is a safe place. Very wholesome community. <laughs> it's madness combat you're thinking of. I think you're right. It's not as an as as much of an aha moment. As I thought it would be. But that sounds correct. Madness combat. Maybe bribing, bribing Gunther works. Unfortunately, he's unbribable. He is not... I'm not able to, to give him any gifts. The closest thing I could do would be to give him museum donations. I see, I see a little mushroom sapling there. I see a little silhouette of a mushroom. This is our ancient fruit harvest day. It's also coconut day at Sandy's. We got a whole whole heap of things to take care of on Monday, I guess, these these days. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little cursed taking out trees and saplings. And stuff with uh, with a hoe instead of an axe. It just doesn't feel right, but if it works, it works, right? Alright, I believe that's all of them right there. Love to see it. Boom, boom, boom. Coconut Sandy sounds like a cookie. Sandy is a type of cookie. I always, like, forget that, but then I'm reminded, and then I'm like, oh yeah, 
It is. I don't know. I don't know what it is necessarily or what it tastes like, but I am aware of its existence. Pecan shortbread type cookie. Sounds like an app an absolutely delightful experience, to be honest with you. By the way, if there were a leaderboard for most coconuts purchased from Sandy in Stardew Valley history, I think we're taking number one. Who's who is out here buying coconuts from Sandy? They're literally just like all over the ground. And when do you ever need this many coconuts? I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. You know what? Sell, sell the bone. Sell the bone. Maybe this is a, a portent. An omen of things to come. The bones are congregating. They're getting ready. It's a it's a it's a positively voluptuous bone swell. Why shouldn't I have done it? Because if that if I had left that artifact spot alone, there's a chance it would have been there next week, and we would have gotten the fragments of the past quest, and then when I hit that artifact spot then, it might have counted for that quest. There's a chance. What what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? All right. We good. We good. That particular artifact spot wasn't going to be there when you when I got the quest. It might have been. It was there 2 weeks in a row because I remember it I remember that exact same one unless we just happen to get one in the same spot 2 weeks in a row which is which is technically pos possible I suppose, but it was there like 2 weeks in a row. Start gathering miner streets. Would save scumming work with the quests? Uh, not with the artifact spots around here. With the ones on Ginger Island, I think you can save scum them a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Hey, Blade! It is a question for Blade, undeniably. I don't think we need to worry about gathering miners' treats just yet because, like, we can we can do that when we actually just need them. It's not something. It's not like a weekly thing. The dwarf just has them at all times. You think artifact spots change daily? I don't know. I don't know if they do. To be honest with you, actually, I think they don't. Because I think that would make it too easy to, like, save scum them. Like, that would be a strategy I would have heard about, I think. If they if they changed on a daily basis, then couldn't you just, like, check an artifact spot if it's not something that you need or want? Then you just, like, sleep it, like, reset, sleep a day, and check it again? I don't think you can do that. They do change daily? Yeah, I know. Yeah, the snakes, the ones on Ginger Island, they have they work differently a little bit. They change based on uh, how many tiles you've tilled previously. But I don't know. We could we could experiment with it for sure. Yeah. The predictor mod can tell you what you get, which means it's like fully predictable. So it's I don't know. Well, the predictor has a lot of settings, so maybe it's still fully predictable, even if it's like changes based on the day. Yeah, you can mip you can manipulate them on Ginger Island. That much that I know. That's a little trick that I do know, but outside of Ginger Island, I don't believe that's a possibility. Tyler, welcome on in. Good to see you. They move in a pattern like clay on a day-to-day -day basis. Can be different from Monday to Tuesday. If if Wickedy's saying that is possible, then I'm willing to take her word for it. 
If Wickedy wasn't sure about something, she would either preface it with, like, I think, or she would or she would just not say anything. So the fact that she's saying it so definitively has me shook. But also excited at the possibility. So, so that means with artifact spots, if we hit one and it doesn't contain a bone item, then we could reset and go to the next day and see if we get a bone item instead. Had to do it for a gold relic and a mask. Fair enough then. Yeah, I've never I've never done that, so I was I thought it would be like a more prevalent thing. I don't think, I feel like I've never seen people talk about it, but Why aren't there a bunch of ancient fruit wines in those casks? Uh cuz we only get one ancient fruit wine per week because we only have a single keg. We're not able to craft more. We were only able, able to get the one from the community center reward. So we're we're up working on a limited supply. I'm putting them in there whenever I get the chance, but they're fermenting in the casks faster than I can fill up the casks entirely. Can anyone give a short recap of the plan to get the bone mill in the last hour, talked about in the last hour of the stream. The current plan is basically um, mainly going to be skull caverns. We can get a lot of bone fragments from uh, crates and barrels and skull caverns, depending on how deep we can go. Like, I did a test the other day between streams, and I used 200 staircases. I got uh, roughly 50 bone fragments. So if we get a good luck day for that, then that's the way to go. And then we subsidize whatever we get from Skull Cavern with odds and ends that we can find elsewhere. So I'm thinking artifact spots on Ginger Island. Um, I'm thinking artifact spots, I mean, just in general, I guess, could be good. But the ones on Ginger Island have a specific chance for, like, a lot of different bone items, as well as bone fragments directly. Um, we can get bone flutes from artifact troves. We can get... We can we can farm the regular mines, like the deep floors of those mines for crates and barrels. It's not as consistent as Skull Cavern, but we can do it. And there's something else that I'm not thinking of. Some other good method for bone acquisition, but those are, those are the main things I'm thinking of right now anyway. It's not necessarily a concrete plan, but just a bunch of little cobbled together bits and bobs that will hopefully get us where we need to go. Will I create a save backup for the first day in case of failure, or just wait for a retry? I'll probably just wait for a retry. I feel like save backup is a little bit too... too resinous for me. Which, resinous means, like, cheaty, but... <laughs> I'm showing, showing my colors there, showing the stream chats I hang out in. Alright, um... We're good, right? Sleepy time. I think I can put the rest of the, of the hay that I have actually directly into the silo now. Will I use the predictor when the quest comes up? We haven't used the predictor at all this challenge so far, and I'm going to endeavor not to as much as I can, but, you know, I'm not going to say, like, never, because there, we could encounter a grind hitherto unknown that just destroys our morale in the future. I forgot to bring the hay with me. And then we finally resort to the predictor, but we haven't done so so far. We got all the way to floor 120 in the mines without any mining or combat experience, without using the predictor a single time. We made our own dang predictor. It, well, I was my own predictor, I guess. <laughs> and if that didn't stop me, if that didn't stop me in my tracks and say, hey, let's load up the predictor instead and do that, then I don't know what will at this point. We have a predictor at home. Hello, Pata. Posted a list of non-repeatable orders in the Discord. Thank you, Benny. So that could be that could help. Yeah, that could help for to kind of finesse the fragments of the past quest. What's this song called? Let me give you a. Let me. I'll find out for you in a hot second here. This song is. 
uh, called Jira Soul, G-I-R-A-S-O-L, by Quinces Moraira, courtesy of the free YouTube audio library. All right. Lock it in. And also just reset floor one of Skull Caverns over and over. Not as fun, but it should work the exact same as staircases. Honeywell, I actually didn't even consider that. That's probably that. That's probably better. Like you want to use the staircases for sure, but that is probably better than resetting the like lower floors of the mines. I would have to guess because then we get uh, chances at different layouts rather than being the same consistent layout. Where if we like don't get a good spawn for bone fragments, then we just are like hooped. We'll add that to our repertoire, our arsenal, for when the quest actually goes live here. But when is it Kazoom time? Kazoom time sneaks up on us. It has to be an organic Kazoom, Kazoom time. You can't force Kazoom. No worries, Purple. Yeah, you should be able to look up the song on uh, just on YouTube, I think. Most of the YouTube audio library songs are just available straight up as videos on YouTube. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, I want. I just wanted to say the reason I don't really use the predictor all that much is not that I like look down on the predictor or people who use the predictor in any way at all. I think it's a fantastic, amazing tool that is a really good idea to use to save time. But part of the appeal of these challenges for me is the idea that anyone could like look at the challenge and sort of under and like. And do it themselves if they really want to, like go, like play on, play at home and do it themselves. And the predictor kind of puts up a gate or a wall between people who play on PC versus people who play on like on Switch or something. Which is also a reason why I don't use like a ton of mods. There's a few quality of life mods that I that I get away with, but you could technically do the challenges without those most of the time. So I just want them to be, I want these to be as accessible as possible. And the predictor. While it would save a lot of time and pain, definitely, I want to, I want to, you know, show that there are ways to do it, to do the majority of stuff we need without having to rely on the predictor necessarily. And let me get off my soapbox <laughs> and sleep. But yeah, the predictor, highly recommend it if you can use it and you and you want to use it. You have the opportunity to do so by all means. It is a an amazing tool. You can get skeletal tails from tilling in the mines. I was gonna look into that actually. I didn't look at I didn't look at uh, specifically like what you can get from hoeing in the mines, because there are certain artifacts and skele skeletal tails are among them. Are there any other bone artifacts you can get from tilling in the mines? I don't think it would be our best strat. Like I still think that probably resetting the floor one of Skull Caverns sounds like the best sort of reset strategy that we could go for. But at least scouting out all of our options is a smart idea. Hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh. 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 I like, I like, I like clenched my nose so I wouldn't sneeze and that, now it's gone. All right, it's gone. No sneezing for me. I didn't even, I didn't even mute. <laughs> I just, I just didn't sneeze. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who are like, if like I have to sneeze, then I have to sneeze. I can usually stop it if the, if the situation calls for it and it doesn't like cause me psychic damage to like prevent the sneeze. It is a it is a weird feeling sometimes though. You retract your blessing. Thank you. We got to save blessings for for true sneezes. They're in limited supply these days. I'm you're you're welcome to take your blessings back. This is totally understandable. Pinch your nose to abort a sneeze. That's that's my strat as well. It doesn't always work amazingly. If there's a really like forceful sneeze, even if you pinch your nose, it'll it'll find a way. 
it'll like subside for a second and then it'll be like once you finally let go of your nose it'll be like all right i'm crashing on in i came in like a forceful sneeze sneezes find a way that says sneezing's not normal i never sneeze all right um we're good right we got our fruit trees tomorrow is staircase day Tomorrow is also the last day of the season, which means I should go around and get all the supply crates I can find, because I believe they reset between seasons, right? I think they're like seat like the forge on the farm in that way, and that we should get them now. Use them or lose them. Good thing I didn't sneeze. Sneezing is not normal. But I'm not normal. Wait. I don't want to I don't want to be normal. I want to maybe I should sneeze. Can you place a bomb bomb on the bone nodes and leap to the other side of the bridge? Maybe it wouldn't give it XP. If a rock breaks anywhere on the map that you're on, whether you broke it or not, whether it was by bomb or via like a dust sprite careening through a rock randomly somewhere like on the far flung side of the map, it gives mining XP. Unfortunately, it's a good thought, but I, I have I have thoroughly tested this, and unfortunately, wait, I still have five jades. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, it's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll go trade them for staircases again. I don't know why I missed that somehow. Gotta at least pet the camel. That's why I saved the five jades, so I can go back and pet the camel. I'm gonna get rid of these saplings, though. One thing that the gold clock does not stop. I wish there was, like, a, a toggle option to say, like, hey, I want the gold clock to also prevent the spreading of trees. Unfortunately, the gold clock, I guess we need, like, the iridium clock or something for that one. Oh, gosh. Could you, Im could you imagine if in... Version 1.6, Concerned Ape added an Iridium Clock. Upgrade to the st upgrade to the Gold Clock. I would cry. 50 million dollars! <laughs> uh, oh, I can picture it now. Happy animals. Look at them all wandering. They're still kind of hanging around like the same enclosure area for the most part. That they would have been anyway, but they're they're starting to roam further beyond as the as the grass beckons them further. One million iridium. How <laughs> could you? A million iridium bars. I can't even fathom it. Five hundred k upgrade from the wizard. It would have, it would be more than five hundred k. The wizard is he, he doesn't do like cheap prices like that. It's going to be at least a million. That said, Concerned Ape, if you're listening, please don't do that. If you've got the Iridium Clock all sprited up and ready to go into the game, please, for the sake of challenge runners and speedrunners everywhere, don't do it. Don't do it. You have the option. You have the power. In fact, you're the only one with the power. <laughs> Iridium Scythe? Yes. Iridium Clock? No. Gotta draw the line somewhere. We are very scarce on supply crates right now, by the way. They did like a whole round for supply crates and found like nothing. Oh, there's one hidden behind the silo up here. Just when I thought I was done. Ooh, HelloFresh. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll come back for the rest of HelloFresh. Radioactive return scepter. Chat, I was perusing the wiki prior to the stream, as I, as I mentioned. Um, and one thing that is not... It doesn't pertain to our current situation at all, but it got the gears in my brain work, working, and I want to test it at some point. 
there, because I was looking on the enchantments page because of, like, the generous enchantment we were talking about before. I was like, is that worth it to go for it? And it probably would be, like, in concept, but to actually get all the cinder shards would be kind of a hassle. But that's not the point here. The point is that there's another enchantment that you can get on, like, a watering can or a hoe, I think it was, called Reaching. And Reaching, what it does is it extends the range of, you know, like, your little charge-up move that you do. Because, like, you know, when you upgrade it, like, to a copper, seal, gold, whatever, you can, like, hold down the button and it'll extend it a little bit further. And Reaching makes that go even further beyond. What happens if you enchant a non-upgraded version of the tool with that enchantment? Like, what if you just have a basic hoe and you have reaching? Because this, this, you can't charge this. You can't charge this at all. Do, do you gain a charge or does it just do nothing? <laughs> Those are the only two plausible circumstances that make sense in my head. It would act as a copper hoe. Oh, does it just increase like the charge level by one? I thought it was like a, a like a custom thing that like increased it by like a certain number of tiles or something. If it increases it by one, then that would make sense if it if it gives you the uh, like the copper hoe effect. be like the axe and act like a steel hoe. You think Pata is right? Yeah, make if, if it acted like a copper hoe, that would make the most sense. And if that is the case, that's kind of an interesting little that could that could be a little price of perfection optimization thing. Where you get you can get a charge effect on your hoe or watering can, but without having to actually pay for an upgrade. Could be neat. I've never I've never tested it, and I, but I would I would be interested in finding out. Okay, we're done for today. Tomorrow's a big day. Hopefully, it is fragments of the past day. Let's go find out. What about powerful? Can you break asteroids with that or stumps? Um, powerful. We tested this thoroughly for the price perfection challenge back in the day. Powerful works differently depending on whether you do it on the pickaxe or the axe. With the axe, it does let you break, like, the stumps and stuff. With the pickaxe, it does not let you break the larger rocks, and I assume that would extend to meteorites as well. Although I did not actually test that specifically. It's weird, though. Yeah, it works, it works differently depending on the tool for some reason. Alright, this time for real chat. This time it's, the re it's a real one. Get, drop your bone emojis. It's time. It's time. We have 165 staircases. This I'm reaching a confidence level with these staircases. I feel like with 165, we could finesse the fragments of the past quest. Before, when it was like only 95, I wasn't so sure. But now, give it to me. Just give. It. There it is. Fragments of the past. Chat. We got it. Calling all amateur paleontologists. I need a hundred pieces of bone for my studies. Please drop them off at the museum counter. Okay. All right. So what are we doing first here? What are we doing first? I think what we do, we accept the quest, right? We'll, we'll accept it, but then we have to have a game plan because we need to t make the most of every single day. We, ma we make, we have a game plan, right? So we accept the quest. We go home and we check what how, what kind of luck we got today and if it's a we want to we want to go ideally to skull cavern on the best luck day possible we can't just like wait all seven days and then hope for the like the best possible like star drop luck day we might have to settle for a gold pyramid day by the way let's accept this and i think that's our first goal we accept that fragments of the past gather 100 pieces of bone and place them in the drop box all right we can do this we can do this. Go get Miner's Treats first. Miner's Treats are not uh, necessary for Skull Caverns itself. It doesn't help us there. It will. They will help us on Ginger Island when we go to that leg of our, of our grind, though. Chat, we have officially entered the Bone Zone.
All right, what do we got? Lucky day. Lucky day. Oh, baby! <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. This, everything's coming together. That's perfect. All right, this starts us off really well, because now we can do our Skull Cavern stuff today, and then we can see how many Bone Fragments we get up to and go from there, right? We can Then we can be like, are we confident in this? Or maybe we like reset the day if we're not confident. We'll see. All right. The spirits are very happy today. Thank you, Wellwick. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put away the stuff I do not currently need. Um, we're going to bring the homey sword for defense. We got the common mushrooms for energy purposes. I'm going to bring all the triple shot espresso and all the coffee. Honestly, I just want the I want to have the speed buff so I can get around and maximum speed. Um, to get to like all the crates and barrels I might need to. Let's do it like this. Yeah, that, that works. I'll do it like this. Um, pumpkin soup. I think we bring two pumpkin soups. I think we should bring two pumpkin soups. And I think we lock that in. Yeah, pumpkin soup for a little extra luck. Yeah, the luck is more important in Skull Caverns than, than any other buff right now, so... Because I think... I actually don't know for a fact if luck increases the chance of crates and barrels, but I, I feel like it does. Alright. This is an odd proposition, but what if we don't wear a hat? <laughs> I can't rob Beatrix of her drip. I kind of see the rationale, but... A bomb for just in case? I don't think... I don't think we risk it. Because, like, even if I did run into a bad scenario... I don't think I would want a bomb out of it. Maybe pickaxe. Maybe pickaxe, just in case. Because at least pickaxe is a bit more of a precision instrument. A bomb I don't trust to not give us mining experience. The pickaxe we could maybe finesse. Don't forget to buy coconuts. We'll do that uh, after Skull Cavern, just so we have room for stuff. But I guess the only thing we really need room for in this case is bones. Do we have a bone hat? There is a bone hat. We don't have it, though. There are multiple bone hats, even. Alright. Let's do this. Get the speed. I am speed. And we actually do want to eat our pumpkin soup, like, right before we go into Skull Cavern this time. As opposed to just, uh, like, on floor 9. Because this is not about treasure rooms. This is about crates and barrels. If I don't look, Can I just take these bones? Oh, we gotta come back for artifact spots and stuff, too. I don't know if you can get any bone artifacts in the desert, but... We're gonna have to check every artifact spot that we can. Alright. Pumpkin soup? Here we go. Let's make let's make some magic happen, shall we? We need bone fragments. My kingdom for bone fragments. I'm just gonna go to every single one of these that I can possibly see, with like, within reason. And we break them all open. Okay. Bone fragments. I don't know what the exact odds for bone fragments are, but it's reasonably high. It's honestly, like, not that hard to, to find them. Like I said, when I did this prior on a, uh, on, like, a test file, across 200 staircases, I managed to get other crates or barrels over there. I thought, I thought that was, like, a little wooden zone or something. I managed to get, um, 50 of the... 50 bone fragments, or half of what I needed, basically. Ruby. No bone fragments yet, but that's okay. We also don't have 200 staircases. Palm fossil in the desert. Good call. Oh, I really want through there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Don't make... You're gonna make me risk it again? Wait, hold on. Don't die. I really, there's, you can smell them. You can smell the, you can smell the marrow coming off of those, uh, those crates over there. Please. All right. I'm taking a chance again. No mining experience. No bones. That's okay. Um, give me hockey four. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Holy. Don't freaking die. Don't die on me now.
All right. We got plenty of common mushrooms to subsist us here. Ooh, that's good. You'll love to see that. Bone fragments! Wait, all right, first bone fragments. I'm gonna get rid of these copper ores. I'm gonna get rid of this iron ore. And I gotta be careful not to actually accidentally like kill a serpent or something. I feel like serpents don't have that much health compared to the amount of damage we're doing when we like swing our sword and stuff. I think I, I gotta be very careful with that. Three bone fragments. It's a start. It's a start. The journey of a hundred bones begins with a single fragment. Sung Zhu, the art of war. All right. Keep it going. This is this is my my lucky floor right here. This is where we get our most bone fragments, or at least where we got our first ones. I mean, you got you got to look right. White turban is the white from bones. Is it a bone turban? I'll take it. Um, probably over the coal, I guess. Can't I just block them? I can just block the serpents, yes. But I'm talking about like if I swing and hit a, to like hit a crate or a barrel and accidentally hit a serpent. I gotta be careful of that. That's where my brain was at for that. I guess just avoid swinging at them when a serpent is nearby though. Three life elixirs, probably worth it over three cave carrots. Aries infested, we don't worry about those then. That was unfortunate use of staircases, all right. Taking another chance here. That's fine. Eat up. Can we move the craft of bone mill out of the way of the floor number in the corner? I shall do that. Thank you for the reminder. Let me just make sure I'm going to, like, live first. <laughs> Appreciate the reminder, Michelle. Thank you. Craft a bone mill. Skirt it on down a little bit. Put it, like, right there. That looks fine to me. Serpents are quite tanky. I feel like they're... I mean, they're little, like, string beans. They're not as tanky as I feel like many of us think they're gonna be. Or maybe I'm just, you know, getting it confused. Don't forget, the homie blade is a, is a level 11 sword made with the finest Omni Geodes and Jades. This, this, is, a, this is a hefty weapon. Maybe someone can give you a bone loan. Do you know any bone loaners who are in the market? I'd be happy to give them a call. Okay, bone, bone, a kingdom for a bone. We've only got three fragments so far. This is not a great first delve into Skull Caverns, and also, like, only delve into Skull Caverns, because we only got one shot with these staircases. Alright, I don't see any other crates or barrels. That's fine. There are some here, please. 150 HP for serpents. And I think I hit one for like a 70 earlier when I swung at like a crate, so you have to be a little cautious then. I'm definitely not beyond resetting the day if this is not a great Skull Cavern for us. Like, I want to make sure these staircases are put to good use. If we only get, like, three bone fragments out of this, I would not consider that a fair trade, personally. 160-odd staircases for three bone fragments. S make that seven bone fragments? All right, you're starting to sway me a little bit. Trade offer? You receive seven bone fragments? I receive 160 staircases. We officially have seven. Bone fragments be lurking. Get some sevens from the lurkers in chat. Thank you to the lurkers. The lifeblood and the backbone of the stream. If you're lurking and enjoying this peak bone farming content, I greatly appreciate you. The bones are with you on this one. Ooh. 
Who do we got here? Yeah, we need a we need a hundred bones. DJ Bruce, Sugar Prince, Purple, Catherine F, Intense Porpoise, Porpoise, Miss Palindrome with the nine. I see you. Lance, more like a six, but less than an eight. Cobalt Cryptid, Pri Priya Singh, Alice, Pada with the three point five, and Kashweed. Jasmine displays. We got so many lurkers. I missed. Did I miss you, Allie? I didn't. I didn't miss you, did I? I did. You were the, like the first seven. <laughs> you were the first seven. I'm sorry, Allie. Gabriella, Kone, Crumby with the point seven. Zizify, Shippo, the Lamia, Liz A, and Bloon Power Defense Six Fan. What a, what a great name! Great name. Great game. Xavier. Thank you to all the lurkers. Whatever you might be doing, playing Stardew Valley, doing chores, exercising, whatever whatever the case may be, these bone fragments here are for you. That would have been so good. That said, like I, like, I to, like I told you earlier, you are the backbone of the stream, so if you could, like, give me that backbone, I need all the bones I can get. Look, it's I don't make the rules around here. Ooh. They kind of look like bone fragments, but they're more metallic. Ooh, five more bone fragments. We just got up to 12. All right, I, do I care about this emerald? I don't, but I do care about a speed buff here. We're up to 12. We have oh, just over 100 staircases remaining. Our odds might be looking up here. All right, I'm going to dodge that iridium bat. Didn't dodge the serpent. Unlucky. But we got lots of common mushrooms for this exact purpose. You put your back backbone in. Thank you, Conkles. I appreciate your sacrifice. It, it will go to a good cause, I promise. Okay. Sneak on over here. There's also a freebie staircase over there. Use every one of those that I can see. Could probably take some time to explore some of these floors like a bit more. I'm, t I'm just, I'm just scanning what I can see, and if I happen to see a crate or a barrel, then we go for it. Ooh, these ones are spread out a little bit. It's gonna take a little while, but I have a feeling it'll be worth it. There's some bones. There's some bones here. I just had that. I had my bone sense was tingling. The wood is very important. The wood is very important, honestly. It saves us money. More bones! Ooh! Farm warp totems? Alright, fair enough. We're up to 19 bones, one-fifth of the way through the quest. More than one-fifth of the way through our staircases. But, the staircases are not our only out here. Alright, crate, I see you. Looking pretty crate. Looking pretty crate! Don't be afraid to be crate. Blue fire, welcome on in. Good to see you. This gold ore is for you. Oh, thank you. Come on. I don't know what a good amount of bones to get from these staircases would be. Like, what's what's a what's an amount that we're comfortable taking? and not resetting for. Like, if we got up to, like, 30 bone fragments, do you think we'd be, like, lock that in? 15 cherry bombs. Is it worth it over any of this? Probably not. We can just buy more cherry bombs. 35, 30, 100, 50, 40, 50, 100, take it or leave it. 100 or bust? Well, we just got three more right there. We're almost a quarter of the way. on past here. I know there's a freebie at the end. Ooh. Ooh, and some free bones at the end as well. Okay. You don't know how much I would love to just kill these guys right now, get a chance at some prehistoric tibias and stuff. What the heck is that sword? This is the homie sword? 
if you've befriended the dwarf as your only friend, or at least as your first friend, got them to 10 hearts before anybody else, then you unlock special access to the sword. Only if Wickedy grants you permission, though. 15 more cherry bombs, no thank you. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it on this one. It's only one crate over there. And we got a decent supply of bones. It's not worth... Oh, it's worth the risk. One, one rock? What could go wrong? Okay, we're good. We're safe. One of these days, that's, that's not gonna end well for us, but today is not that day. Only the first person to ever do it unlocks it. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Don't worry, the homie sword's in good hands. You can trust me with the homie blade. Ooh, Crystallarium. <laughs> That's actually really good. Hold on, though. Um, probably take that over these two rubies. It makes this run a little bit spicier, a little bit, a little bit more like, okay, maybe we do keep this one. That said, I mean, it's not the main reason we're here, so we gotta be... We gotta keep our perspective... Right. We gotta maintain that perspective. It's all about the bones. Crystallariums come second to bones. Never thought I'd say that, but bone fragments are more important to me than any crystallarium could ever be right now. Uh, it's tempting. I know there's, like, there's a spot. Because, like, this layout is, like, the same one that we've gotten bone fragments on before. Can I get over there only breaking one rock? I think I can. The soup ran out? Okay, thank you. Holy moly. Okay. That's a lot of serpents. This better- please make it worth my while? Okay, that's fine. It was a gamble and I, I failed. I, I failed the gamble, but that's alright. That's why it's called a gamble. We're totally fine. We're doing just great here, chat. Soup doesn't really matter. It is It is good for health, though. Yeah, it was, it was a good call for health anyway, so... The iron ore throws me off, honestly. It's it's very bone fragment adjacent. Why can't I kill skeletons? I actually can kill some skeletons. It's just I'm not allowed to level up combat until I get the goal to do so. So, um... So I'm limited in the amount of skeletons I'd be allowed to kill before I hit, like, the threshold for, for the next level, basically. Alright, I need my speed buff back. A little triple shot for me, please. Large rocks risk-free. That's true, yeah, large rocks do not give, uh... Mining experience. Please. Please. <laughs> oh, gosh. The deeper I get, and the more bone fragments I acquire, the, the scarier all these monsters start to look. Okay. Ooh. No luck. 22. I don't know. 22 does not seem good enough. If that's all we're, if that's that's all we get, we still have a lot of staircases, mind you. I shouldn't I shouldn't say anything just yet. But 22 is not looking too promising here. Why does he have 500 mushrooms? Exclamation point year. That's what 13 years of mushrooms looks like. Well, not not exactly, but <laughs> in concept. How many days are left in the quest? All of them. This is the first day. This is this Monday. We have seven days remaining. Reset without using stairs, I have all day. Reset without using the stairs. 
like save some stairs is that what you're saying I feel like I should today's a great luck day I should just use all the stairs right we can reset floor one that's true take the time to explore the floors more carefully ooh bone fragments that is a good call and get around there but these floors are also pretty deadly. <laughs> and time is is limited. Like, it's a, it's a great luck day today. It's the best luck day. So we really have to take advantage while we have the opportunity here. And not die, preferably. Floor 1 is probably smart. It worked well enough when you did it for your randomizer, Crumby. Yeah, resetting floor one could be the strat. I still like... I would still like to use my staircases, though. Especially because now, I mean, it's sunk cost fallacy at this point. But... Working out okay. Mostly life elixir me. I think 27 plus a crystallarium is worth saving this run. Hardwood we don't care about right now. Like, I think if I can get up to 30, that would be amazing. I think you're right, though. Probably 27 plus Crystallarium on its own is still good enough to, to lock it in. No, thank you. I don't need matching turbines for, for Iota. It's not my preferred choice of, of garb. It doesn't really match our drip right now. We could build an outfit around it, though. Oh, gosh. Have a quick look-see here. I can't get to that one. That's fine. Look, Elu. I need less than 20 on day per average. 20 on day would get me there in five days. I, didn't we do the math? It's, we need, like, 15 per day, right? We need we need 15 per day. If we, if we get 15 bone items every single day of the quest, then we're good. It was like 15, 15 times 7. 70 plus 35 is 105. So 15 or 14. So we're already pretty far ahead of the ball. And that's 30 right there. I mean, that's that's two days worth of bone fragments. I think... I mean, I'm, just, I'm still going to see this out. At least until it gets too late to continue on, on forward. So yeah, I think this run is worth conserving, for sure. Especially now. And then probably resetting floor one of Skull Caverns might be our might be our ticket. Quick glance, okay. We also definitely don't want to die. That would be that would be the worst possible outcome. The worst timeline is where we die and lose all our bone fragments and the crystallarium. <laughs> that would be a uniquely terrible situation. Please. Okay. Just eat up. Hopefully we have another zero HP incident. Hopefully we don't. That was a little too too close for comfort, <laughs> in my opinion. It was cool to see it though, to be like alive at zero HP for even the briefest of seconds. This is a plentiful floor. If only any of these had some some bones in them. Please. Okay. Re up the coffee. We got 34 more staircases. Can we get through all 34 in the time remaining in the day? We probably could. Depending on how many crates and barrels and stuff that we actually run into here. The Jebate Iron Ore. I don't remember which crate here, because there's, there's one on this layout that always has the bone fragments on it. At least on this day. 
I wish I had that locked in my brain, which one it was. Not that I probably still wouldn't go out of my way for them anyway. But. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna dip on out of here. Thank you very much. Oh, there's one up there. It's probably not worth going for. Or not, not worth risking the experience from breaking a rock to get there anyway. I'm gonna eat some mushrooms to be on the safe side here. How many streams do I think it'll take? It might be this stream, <laughs> to be honest with you. It very well might be this stream. I don't know. Ooh. It depends on our bone luck and our other avenues that we decide to pursue. 12 a.m. I've got farm warp totems. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Do you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Lots of iridium we get to pass up on. It's just the Beatrix experience right there. Ooh. Bone, please. The bones! Oh, I'm glad we went out of the way for that one. Okay. Couple last minute bones. Anyone else, anyone else crave a bone at 12.30 at night? Or just me? But I like to hear a joke always. Ooh, there's got there's bones. There's bones over there for sure. One of these has to be a bone. There's bones. Three more bones for the pile. Okay, okay, there's a chance. There's a chance for more bones. 38 bones. Can we hit 40, you think? 1 a.m. Don't die on me now. Don't die on me, Beatrix. You've come too far to die now, girl. Not at 1 a.m. We're not letting that happen. Okay. All right, we're safe. We're safe. Get, get me out. Get me out of here. We're safe. One ten a.m. I'm just keeping an eye on the time. Oh gosh, that was that hurts. Bones, please. Last minute. One twenty. I'm not afraid. I see. I see another crate down there. Another barrel, even. What was the What was the joke? A man has been going around stealing wheels off police vehicles. The police have been working tirelessly. To find. <laughs> Took me a minute, actually. Or right, we don't, don't need the common mushroom. That is a good joke. I don't think I've ever heard that one. I love it. Oh, please. I mean, there's not any bones I can get out of here. Quality sprinklers? What do you take me for? I'm a beach farm enjoyer. Ooh. Double treasure room right at the end. More, more farm warp tomes. Is the game trying to tell me something? 140. Bone! All right, I'm, I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm out of here. See if I can get to my own freaking bed. I want to sleep in my own freaking bed with my own freaking bones. Please? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Gonna fall right off the mattress. All right. Well, you know what? Close enough. <laughs> Rip. Oh, man. That was good though. That was good. That was a great day. You know, I didn't even I didn't even consider the possibility of even resetting that day. I think we can all agree 38 bone fragments and an extra crystallarium for our troubles is more than than worth it at this point. Okay. It passed I passed out and it warped me to my bed. Yeah, 38's pretty pog. Dare I say it's pretty pog champ. How do we regain our energy? We didn't really spend that much energy because we weren't breaking rocks or anything. Okay. 
Um, let's take care of business here, first and foremost. Uh, this ancient fruit one. I'm gonna put this stuff... Let's just put stuff away for right now. Sorry, bone fragments. Keep those on me. Staircases can go in here. Take a jade, throw it in this other crystallarium. This is goal number 19. Um, pop these away. Okay. White turban can go in here. Boom. Over a third of the way done. Buy desert warps today? I mean, we have a desert obelisk, though. I, I feel like we don't particularly need the desert, uh, desert warp totems. Um... Ancient fruit. Boom. Goat cheese. Boom. Goat milk. Boom. Okay. Uh, life elixirs. Honestly, I would probably just sell those more than anything. Farm warp totems. That's a heck of a lot of farm warp totems. I'm here for it. Sleeping till more stairs. We can't sleep till more stairs now. Now that we're on the clock, we have to. We only, we only have six days to get 62 more bone items. So. I think what we do is. We are, I think we should go to Ginger Island first, okay? I think, I think what we do is we go to Ginger Island and do a sweep and clear of all the artifact spots that are there. Get everything we can off of that. Then we go to Skull Cavern and reset floor one. Does that sound right to everyone? And we should stop at the dwarf at, at our homie for a miner's treat first and foremost, to get that that extra buff, because apparently you get more bone fragments from artifact spots on Ginger Island if you have a farming, if you have a mining buff. Bring a pan, that's a good call. We could get something good out of the out of the panning area. And trade trade gold coconuts while I'm trade four gold coconuts while I'm there. I did it did it did uh I did notice that we didn't actually get we didn't buy the coconuts that we were supposed to yesterday, but we still have 20 to trade for gold coconuts. So that should be two more gold coconuts. Great call. Open geodes and troves too. I think we save that for the very end of the week. If we have any bone fragments that we need or any bone items that we have left to get, I think then we resort to the gold coconut artifact trove grind. Okay. Um, where is my pan? By the way, it might be on Ginger Island, actually. I bring the hoe, obviously. Don't really need the pickaxe for right now. I'm gonna keep the bone fragments on me. Panning can give bones. At least on Ginger Island it can. You can get to, in the dig site, you can get fossilized skulls or something. Not fossilized skulls, but like snake skulls. Fossilized legs, something like that. Yeah, I believe Panning is on Ginger Island. Or Pan is on Ginger Island. Ooh, happy birthday to Ice. I hope you have an Ice day. Ho ho ho. No, seriously though, get some birthday cake emojis for Ice in chat. Thank you for gracing us with your presence on your birthday. I'm glad that, I hope that uh, you're having a fun time. Okay. So... We go to Ginger Island now, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab some speed buffs. Grab my super meals and my triple shot for right now. Maybe even some coffee. Bring the coffee with me. Okay, we're, we're just gonna sell these life elixirs. Okay, I think we're good. Grab farm warp totem. Good call, actually. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a couple of them. Well, I guess I only need one right for right now. I can always come back for more when we do our Skull Cavern thing. All right. You would have overcomplicated this. I, I, my instinct is to overcomplicate this, Honeywell. Actually, like I was really thinking we were gonna go hard on like the artifact trove, gold coconut grind, but I don't think we have to. I think it's, I think this bone mill goal is not as scary. As it might seem at first blush. Okay. Lock in our speed buffs. 
Let's go to let's go visit our homie. Real quick. Pit stop at the homie's house. Get some homies in chat, please. Who would have thought that our very first friend would be so instrumental potentially in uh in helping us with this this newest goal. I would never have imagined. I'm gonna buy a single miner street. That should be all I need for the artifact spot uh manipulation. I also forgot I'm going to sell these life elixirs. I can go back and do that. Party at homies. Okay. So we only pop this miner's treat once we see artifacts, an artifact spot on Ginger Island. And then we just make the most of it from there. Boom. Okay. For some reason, my brain was like, I saw a garbage can by the saloon, and I was like, wait, we can get bones out of garbage cans. And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about, brain? <laughs> I would hope that no one in town is throwing away any bone fragments. That would be a little sus, but... Okay. Hop on in here. Mr. Willie, take me to Ginger Island, please. Not a rainy day. You love to see it. All right. Artifact spot, ahoy. I'm going to go ahead and consume my miner's treat. Yummy. Tastes like a rainbow. That's a gold coconut. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good start to things here. I'm going to go up this way. We're just going to scout. Actually, I should go over. I should, while I'm, while I'm here, I'm going to trade. Boom, boom. Thank you, Mr. Island Trader. Trade those. I'm going to go back to my farm and look for artifact spots there and also grab my pan just from real garbage cans what the, what on earth <laughs> i wasn't ready dude i wasn't ready what is this <laughs> look at all this fiber oh my land yo fibrous farm could never living hat time baby <laughs> Holy moly, it's all it's everywhere. It's freaking everywhere. All right, uh, grab that. Do we need anything else from out of here? I don't believe so. Unfortunately, that is uh, that is fewer spots for uh, for artifact spots to spawn, which is unfortunate, but it is an amazing sight. Holy moly. Does this, does this go all the way down to the beach or does it like stop eventually? Okay, it does stop prior to the beach. There's at least that. Journal scrap. I don't think any of these can, like, mess me up or anything like the secret notes can. Okay, that's fine. Eat. More Omni Geodes. Okay. I'm just, I'm just looking for any artifact spots. So much green. Oh, I forgot about the tree columns over here, too. Okay. I don't believe there are any other artifact spots around here. I don't think they can appear on, like, the like, little northern section of the island. I'm gonna get the living hat. If I chop all of that, you know, there's, there's a there's a de decent chance. I higher than you than the average person, that's for sure. Okay. Quick artifact spot perusal around these parts. I don't think there can make. Well, I've, I've never seen any up here. That's actually the best way to get the living hat. Is that a Habu original right there? Clear the rest of the fiber so artifacts can spawn. I do want to make sure I... Ooh, look at this. I do want to make sure I have uh, time to do Skull Cavern stuff. So that's why I didn't clear the, far clear the uh, fiber. But it probably is worth my while to do so in the, in the long run. Okay, 
right, let's clear all this out of the way. Grab these sneaky artifact spots as well. E. All right. Another gold coconut. That's... I'm never going to uh, sneeze at that one. Canning spot down here. The bones... The bones on Ginger Island are not as abundant as I hoped they would be. The gold coconuts are helpful, though, because every gold coconut is technically a bone in disguise. We just have to workshop it a little bit. Okay. Right up here. Nothing. Nothing doing. All right. Check the jungle for a mummified frog. I'm with you. Let's head on over there. There was another panning spot. We're too far gone now. We're too far gone. Watch me get the lucky ring. That would be ideal, honestly. It'd be the next best thing to a to a regular old bone. Okay. Ooh, mummified frog. Yo, good call. I think we can get multiple mummified frogs, right? Mummified frog, that's two. Great call, great call. Get some frog emojis in chat for our mummified friends. Quick, quickly read that. Our weapon enchantments. All right, fine. Nothing we don't already know. Another journal scrap. Too kind to me. Okay, perfect. Up to 40 bones. All right. Hey, Leo. Didn't even see you there the first time. Maybe you snuck down when I wasn't looking. Yes, yeah, so, and just to confirm that these do count as bones. 40 bones as opposed to the 38. Okay. That's our bone collection right there. There's more weeds. There, wait, there's more weeds up top? All right, fair enough. This is just our Ginger Island day. We might not get too much of Skull Caverns in here. And more weeds. Ooh, third mummified frog. Good, good call going back. Top. I mean, these these blend in very well, actually. I'm just worried about like misclicking on a on a fern. We got another mummified frog. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. I think that's all the weeds. I think that's everything. There was a real frog in one of those, but not a mummified version. Wait, wait. Never mind. Okay, got it. <laughs> shrine area. I, I hit the shrine area. There were some there that I hit, right? Also, we can't get any out of here, but I am going to clear these just for artifact spot's sake. And you know what? Journal scraps doesn't hurt either. <laughs> it is very, it's a very satisfying sound to, to, to listen to all this fiber. Little fiber ASMR. That's our, that's an ostrich egg. That's a free ostrich egg right there. But an ostrich may have bones, but an ostrich, itself, ostrich egg is not a bone. I keep looking for mummified frogs, even though I know I can't get, the, get them out of this. <laughs> also, keep your eyes peeled for the living hat, of course. It should stand out very cleanly if we do get one, but... One to incubate and one to ship. True. Although we could always get multiple if we incubated it anyway. But still, it's nice to have that peace of mind that we're going to get that guaranteed ostrich egg anyway. Lawn mowing simulator. R slash weirdly satisfying. It 
Look at all these frogs, dude. <laughs> I'm just they made they made a nice little home in here, and I'm just coming in and, and ruining it for them. Okay, I think that's it. I believe that is all she wrote, except this one. Could you imagine if that was the living hat? <laughs> all right. If I get ship ostrich egg, I won't be screwed. True. Very good point. A lot of fiber in here. That's love. You'll love to see it. Okay. Leave the copper pan here because it's really the only place that we use it. No living hats, unfortunately. We cleaned out all the artifact spots that we could, right? I think we're safe to leave Ginger Island, right? Yo, Channel 84. Good to see you. I hope, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing quite well myself. Thank you for dropping on in. You came in at a perfect time. The most bombastic, celebratory, amazing, happy song that we've ever heard. Get blessed by Kazoom. <laughs> All right. I can't think of a better tune to take us over to Skull Cavern and continue on our bony grind. Can you? All right, let's, let's pop on over. We're done. Will Kazoom bring us good bone luck? There's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and drop off the stuff we do not currently need. I'm going to take one farm warp totem with me. Not going to worry about the cheese for right now. I will bring... Yeah, this is this is good. This is fine. Wait, I guess I don't need the gold coconuts either. Okay. I'm gonna keep all the bones on me for right now. Put away the frog skeletons. But I like my I like keeping the bones. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I'm gonna put these in a spot of this this be our bone chest over here. Bone chest. Okay. Um I'll keep this bone fragments, because those we can stack anyway, so. Alright. Look at all the homies in chat kazooming along. Dude, why is Kazoom? It's one of those songs too that also that sounds better every time I hear it. I don't know what the rationale is there, but to me that is it's exactly how this song works. I, I don't get it, but I love it. Bing, bing. I think there was an artifact spot in the desert as well, was there not? Source super meal. Is it almost out? No, it's not out. That's my favorite part right there, the little downswing of the kazoos. Palm fossil? Wait, that's a that's a bone, right? 43 pieces of bone? Is that that's correct, yeah. Palm fossil is is a certified bone moment. And three bone fragments. I didn't even know you could get those in the desert. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe there's a chance to get it while the quest is active. I'm here for it. Alright. You know, go. I'm gonna go scour the rest of the desert really quick, as I might, I might, might as well take a look here. Because the wiki said you have to complete the quest in order to have a chance at bone fragments. It, it didn't say you could get them while the quest is active, but that's huge, huge if true. All right, the only bones I see are ones I cannot possibly hope to haul home. The power of Kazoom. You're not wrong. All right, so now we reset. We reset floor one, and just keep it, keep our eyes peeled for crates and barrels. Should I be exploring these floors, or should I just like wait for moments like that? <laughs> that I cannot tell you. But this is a, it's a good start at least. It's a good start in terms of pure crate concentration. Also, does anybody know what the heck is what the heck is this? Is this like a hat rack? <laughs> I never even really realized that there was like a thing there, and that's the only thing that makes sense to me. A little hat rack for for Skull Cavern. Pour one out for Kazoom, by the way. Great song. Wooden candle. Maybe a mega bomb would shatter the sand the sand dragon skeleton. 
Has anyone ever tested it, you think? Ancient hat rack. Okay, so we started today with... I mean, re really, we're pretty far ahead. If we have to get 15 bones per day, and we're on day two, and we're up to almost 45 bones, we're almost like a full day ahead, right? Just, just off the back of how good that first day was. Like, we didn't get that many bones today so far, but we did, we did still get some. And as long as we can get, like, 15... I could zoom out. All right, fine. You know what? Just just for this one, we'll zoom out. I don't like playing this far zoomed out. It it, it gives it makes me feel weird, but for the purposes of this grind, it seems like it's a it's a fair idea. Uh oh, I can get down through there. Okay. Thank you, mummy, for 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 showing me the way. I think there was also one over here, wasn't there? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yeah, does not it's not going to be as efficient as doing it with staircases, but we should still be able to get a decent amount of bones or at least a few bones here and there doing it this way. It's better than resetting in the regular mines, I'll tell you that for free. You hate the mummies? I actually kind of like the mummies. If only because I don't have to worry about accidentally killing one and gaining combat experience for it. Because I can't even kill them. No dinging elevators. That's also true. That's a worthy consideration. kill you so much and there's so many of them. They do move relatively slowly though. That's the one that's the one main Achilles heel. If you can outrun outrun the mummies, you're looking pretty good. They just want hugs but they hug too tight. It's not the mummies fault. The mummies are looking for their mommies. It's a hat rack for Mr. Mr. Chi. Man never takes off his hat, though. I feel like if Mr. Chi took off his hat, like, the universe would implode. Like, what's under there? There might be, like, a whole galaxy under there, for all I know. Ooh, please. Alright, no bone fragments yet. We did get a relatively late start on this on this grind though. Ooh, and we still got some bone fragments out of it. I'm here for it. I think that kicks us up just past that's that's what 40 that's 44 bones that we're up to. Four wait, 48 bones. Oh, because we got some out of an artifact spot earlier. Okay. So we're actually up past the like we basically got three days worth of bones so far. Total. Not like today, but like overall. That's how, that's roughly where we're at. Almost halfway, officially. One thing to be aware of, by the way, I don't know if this is gonna... If we're gonna run into this issue. But when you go to give the bones to Gunther, you put them in a box. The box only has nine spots. So... If we have bone items spread across more than nine things, we might be in a bit of a strange spot, but... <laughs> but so far, we only have bone items spread across, what, like three things? Yeah, highly unlikely. It is, it is something worth thinking about in case we run into that eventuality, but it's probably not going to happen. Oh, that's true, Simber, you're right. I do, also, I do also have extra bone fragments. So I could still, I could use those and just add them to the pile. Because, like, the thing, the ones you donate don't necessarily have to be the same ones that you find. You just have to find 100 bones and donate 100 bones. But the 100 bones you donate don't have to be the 100 bones you found. 
Good call. Take a quick saunter through here. Should save enough to craft the bone mill, though. I think we only need 10 for the bone mill, right? I don't think we'll be too worried about that. Plus, like, once we, once we're off the clock for this quest, then we don't have to really worry too much. We can we can get bone mills at, or bone uh, fragments at our leisure. And bone mills. It'll craft all the bone mills that we darn well please. Please? All right. I think at 130 we probably warp home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take that. Wait, is that good? does that help us? Does th should I wear this? Chat, should I be wearing this? Probably probably over the magnet ring, right? That's that's a pretty good <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll take that over the magnet ring for right now. <laughs> Don't tell Pox Seal. <laughs> there's no way that could be bad for us. Like, there's there's no shot. There's no world where wearing a lucky ring is the wrong call. Oh my gosh, hold on. But don't die. Real quick, don't make sure you don't freaking die. <laughs> Wait, how rare is that? I feel like I've never gotten a lucky ring out of a crate. All of the ones I've gotten in the past have been from Panem. That's wild. Uh, this this day in Skull Cavern pays pays for itself in just that. Like that lucky ring could really help us out in the future of the rest of this challenge, not just this one goal. That will increase crate spawn. I certainly hope so. Even if it only increases it by a by a microscopic amount. Take anything we can get around here. Omni Geode probably worth it over the fire quartz. All right, give me one more floor check, and then we're warping out of here. One more floor check. Was it worth it? There was another crate down there, but it's too far away for me to concern myself with. All right, we out of here. Dude, the zoomed out, <laughs> playing this zoomed out, it's it's is making me feel weird. I get I get the vertigo. Oh, I'm just gonna go to bed. All right. I saw it was 150. I was gonna like start putting things away in chests and all that stuff and having a great great old time that way, but I don't got time for that right now. Halfway through the bone zone, we are officially at 48 bones with five days remaining. I'm gonna go ahead and put away the magnet ring for right now. What ring did Argon find? Just one of the, just one of these. No big deal. J Nuggets, thank you for being a member for 16 months, by the way. At the electron level, thank you so much for the generosity and the support. 16 months and we finished the gold clock. I don't think it took us quite that long, but you know. It took us longer than that in game, honestly, so. <laughs> we need 11 bones today to stay. I mean, to stay on track, we actually don't need any bones today. Because going off of 15 per day, we would need to be at 45 by the end of the day in order to be on, on pace. We're, and we're already at 48. That said, we're still going to like go get bones, obviously. We're going to go do our best to find as many bones as we possibly can here. I'm not even going to worry about these, to be honest with you, for right now. I'm just going to put all my focus on in the bone zone. Don't do the math. I mean, I think the math is good to do to keep us, to make sure that we're on track. But I'm with you that we should just grind it out anyway. Yeah, as long as, as long as like, and if we could get 15 today and just, and stay, and like stay that extra full day ahead, then, uh, I think we're good. Benny, I was about to ask the same question. Do we go back and check Skull, uh, Ginger Island again today? Or do we just go straight for Skull Cavern?
Another thing I can I can complete donating bones before getting enough. The reason is that the library closes before 2 a. Oh, that's true. The library. We'll have to make sure we donate everything before like 6 p.m. on the final day. Okay, that's a good shout out, Miss Palindrome. Nab the fragments I have in storage. I guess I should grab... Well, I mean, I want... Well, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I know that makes sense. All right, so we'll put, have the ones we have in storage just so we... Well, that does throw me off a little bit on, like, how many we have, but I can always just check the quest log, I suppose. But once we're up to 100 total, then we can just... So we got five in here, plus we got the 62 here. Okay. I need some time between island trips to let it build up. That's what I was thinking. Like, artifact spots, they have a chance to appear on, like, a daily basis, but they're not guaranteed. I think we probably give it, like, a day or two and then maybe head back to Ginger... Maybe we'll head back on, like, the last day if we need to. But I think for now, we just go ahead and grind out Skull Cavern, right? The fiber does also take a bit if we want to rely on more mum mummified frogs. Very true. Okay. I think we just go Skull Cavern then. Do we go around... Here's a th here's a question. Do we go around, like, the rest of the valley? Because we haven't checked, like... We checked Ginger Island and we checked the desert for artifact spots. And now we know that artifact spots can contain bones during the quest. Should we go around and clear out what we can today and then go to Skull Cavern? The Ubermech, welcome on in. Making it to your first stream, glad to have you here. Good to see you. We should check it today, and if we don't get any, then reset, reset the day. That's true, we were talking about this earlier, because if we reset, and then we don't get... Okay, yeah. Because if we, if we don't get any, we can reset today, and then maybe get them tomorrow instead. Let's give it a whirl. Let's take a let's take a whirlwind tour around the valley for a minute, and honestly, I'm gonna <laughs> at least for this. Maybe I'll zoom back out once I once I get to Skull Cavern. But I gotta play on 100% zoom level. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for my for my own brain and my own sake. <laughs> I gotta it's it's hurting my brain. I can donate the bones because I already have 70. All right, we'll bring the bones to. The museum. That's a that's a fair point. Do I have any other bones just like kicking around? A weird question. I do have some minor streets in there actually, but I don't think we have any other like bones that I had left saved in a random spot or anything, do we? No. I should try ninety once in a while. Anything short anything other than a hundred? Like it starts to look like blurry to me. In like weird places. Like the it, it's I don't know. It's just uh one of my weird idiosyncrasies. Okay. Quick peek at the railroad. I think you can get artifact spots on the railroad. Cool. You like 85? 100 is too close for you personally? 100, 100 is just the one I've gotten so used to over time that I, like, anything else just feels too wrong. And I suppose I could, like, condition myself to get used to a different zoom setting, but this one has worked out pretty well for me so far. The debris is killing the spots. Wait, there's bones! Chat, there's bones down there! Wait! Wait, chat, how do I get those bones? Also, maybe quarry mine? <laughs> is something? I don't know, maybe. There's skulls in there. They can drop stuff. I don't, do skulls give less experience than skeletons? Although skulls are not guaranteed to drop bone fragments. Neither are skeletons, but they're much higher likely. Hood. Yeah, the debris definitely hurt is hurting our chances right now. gonna hurt our chances in like cinder sap forest as well i think i'm just perusing the valley don't mind me i'm just taking i'm just looking for bones on a scavenger hunt for some bones
quick peek over here. Been over by Joja Mart, maybe. There's, they've been known. It's been known to happen. What the heck is going on here, Joja Mart? Take care of your stuff. I paid a lot of money to you, Joja Mart, and you're not even like taking care of your own backyard here. What the heck? 10 XP per skull, definitely not worth it. Some skeletons in Lewis's closet. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough friends with Lewis to enter his room. Otherwise, that would be a great source of bones. You're not wrong. All right, quickly drop off some bones. There we go. We have officially donated 67 bones, gathered 48. Today seems like we might reset. Wait, bones! There's a bone right- there's a whole bunch of bones right there. I haven't repaired the bridge, so if there's any artifact spots across there... Uh, oh well. <laughs> Check Ginger Island if we reset too. This definitely feels like a resettable offense, just given how few artifact spots we have found, i.e. zero. <laughs> so yeah, we should probably check Ginger Island just to know if we need to go out there anyway. There's not even that many spots for artifact spots to be here, is there? Okay. I think we... I think we reset. Well, we go we go to, go to Ginger Island and then reset. Let's go have a quick perusal of Ginger Island and then reset to get the most out of this day. 206 bones on the skeleton. That's like double what we need. Imagine if you could donate the skeleton. Just re-gift it. Unfortunately, I guess we got those bones prior to getting the quest. Because Gunther gave them to us. So we can't just give them back to Gunther that way, but... Stay la vie. We'll find, we'll find bones another way here. Oh, I didn't bring a miner's treat for Ginger Island. That's okay. Ooh, there's a panning spot right there. I actually don't know if you can get, like, bones in this area with panning, but... Forever Pluey, welcome on in. The bone search is well underway. We are currently sitting at 48 bones acquired of the 100 that we need, and we have, what, five days to go? Five days to go. This is a very artifact spot poor day. I mean, Ginger Island we got to expect because we just cleared it out the other day, so. Did we put the extra auto petter in Dubnium's coop? We probably could. Dubnium deserves all the pets. There are like a couple little spots right here that have regrown, but shouldn't expect very many. Would be cool to take Iota to the island. One day. One day we'll get our horse flute goal and then we'll be able to do that, but today is not that day, I'm afraid. Not a single gosh darn artifact spot, huh? I didn't even bring my pan. Alright. No artifact spots in the entire valley or all of Ginger Island. I think we reset. <laughs> I think we reset the day. We reset the day and we go Skull Caverns mode instead. All right. Oh gosh, it's all zoomed out again. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for the zoom out. Oh man. All right. Um, my inventory is like a freaking nightmare zone as well because of because it's it's from a Skull Caverns run yes previously. All right. Pop these away. Let's put the magnet ring away as well. those in there. Uh, 
Um, grab these. Grab these as well. We might make a pit stop at the museum to, to donate some stuff, so I'm just going to bring all this with me. And we just go straight to Skull Cavern, right? I guess I, I guess I can bring Warp Totem. Bring like two Warp Totems. So I can warp back once to donate, and then warp back again at like the end of the day. You just got tel teleported back an hour and an hour and a half, and you were so confused. You were like, "What? You already have the quest?" That's funny. What was the miner's treat for? The miner's treat was because your mining level influences how many bone fragments you get from artifact spots. Apparently, at least on Ginger Island, according to the wiki. So I was buffing the mining level with the miner's treat in order to facilitate that a little bit. But we shouldn't need it for Skull Cavern or anything like that. All right, what we do need is a little bit of speed buffs and a little bit of coffee. Why are we donating today? It's not the last day. Uh, well, the la well the museum closes at like 6 p.m. So we just want to make sure that we have stuff donated in case, basically. <laughs> just in case we forget or if we get to the... I don't know. I guess I, maybe maybe it's not worth I don't know. I don't know, I'm getting thrown all over the place. I'm getting so confused. I'm gonna leave these here. Leave those there. Let's just focus fully on Skull Cavern today, shall we? I trust myself enough to donate all the bones when we get them. Alright, Skull Cavern. Not artifact spot huntings today. If we could get one in the desert here, that would be very nice, but it was not meant to be. Alright, pop on in. Let's make this happen, shall we? Let's make some magic happen. Let's get some more bones. We need. How many more bones? We need 52 more bones. Chrissyverse, I do own a horse! Exclamation point horse. Nightbot tells lies, but but I do currently own a horse. Get some horses in chat. Take a chest to the desert. I don't think we need one because we're not lie. I guess we could like get it for like some miscellaneous loot that we get from from resetting floor one here, but it's probably not worth the cost to do business. At least not right now. If I remember when I'm back at home. For tomorrow to come to, to bring one out then I think I'll probably do that yeah miss palindrome you're right we, we still want to try and get 15 so that we stay we maintain our lead we maintain a consistent rate so we want to ideally get at least 15 bone fragments or bone adjacent items today but I think, I mean, I think the only thing we can get doing this method is bone fragments, so kind of a moot point, I guess. Like a cow's opinion, it's moo. Okay. Um, I was looking for a staircase. <laughs> I was like, oop, don't have one of those right now. That's fine. Geodes are good for the artifacts uh, spot. Artifact slash gold coconut grind, yeah. The artifact trove slash gold coconut grind. Because we do need, yeah, in, like, we do need interstitial geodes in order to make that manipulation tactic work. You're not wrong. I'm hoping we don't have to end up doing too much of that, of hunting for bone flutes and fossilized skulls via golden coconuts and artifact troves, but I'm glad that we have a backup plan in case we need it. 
It could be, I mean, we all know when from the gold, uh, or from the banana sapling grind, how much of an involved process that whole thing can be, so. Fingers crossed we won't have to do a whole ton of that, but I'm going to pull out all the stops if I need to. We can also trade artifacts, but artifact, uh, or sorry, Omni Geodes for artifact troves, that's true. So it would be ideal to use other types of geodes, but I think, I think literally these two magma geodes right here are the only other geodes that we have that are not Omni Geodes. So that is... So we're probably going to have to rely mainly on Omni Geodes. But you never know. We could get some more right here, right now. Or some Bone Fragments. That would be, honestly, probably better. Oh, hold on. Can't even get to there. Rip. Didn't even bring, bring, bring a pickaxe to try. Do I see it in my future to pl play Palea again? I would like to. I think I think it was a fun little experience. That said, I uh, I do implore people who are having a great time with Palea to check out Wickedy's recent video on on Palea because there are some uh, like predatory pricing models in like the premium shop that I was not aware of during my first dive into Palea that make things a it definitely makes you raise an eyebrow when you start looking a little more into it for sure so i gotta be I, I i really like the game Ooh, bone fragments you just gotta stop talking about the game and then the game gives you what you need you know i really like the game it's still it's still a very fun time and if you're not diving into the premium shop and you're just ha content playing the game for like the free content then i think you're gonna have a totally amazing time still But it's 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 worth consideration for sure. Yeah, I would not recommend spending any money on Paleo just yet because, like I said, the pricing of a lot of the stuff in the premium store is is whack, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It's a it's a little it's a little much, just a little steep. But the free-to-play experience is still very robust and very nice, I think. Yeah, the premium shop for now, I think it's mainly just, like, uh, like cosmetic upgrades and pets and stuff. I don't... Cor like, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's any, like, gameplay advantage to be garnered necessarily from, from the premium shop. But it's still in beta, who knows the, the, the direction things are going to go. Hopefully it'll go in the right direction. Hopefully, like, I don't know, Paleo developers, based on what I know about them, seem pretty, pretty good. And they seem like they care a lot about the community and, the and like, fostering a, a great safe space. Safe and fun space for everybody. So hopefully they'll figure all that out in due time. Yo, thanks for link linking that video, Lisa. It is a very good resource. We got 66 now. It's deceiving. This is not technically 66. It's still just 52. But there's 66 there because in case I need to donate... Th those I, I gathered a bunch that were already in my uh, chest. So I can donate them if need be. That said, it's kind of a moot point, I guess. Because if I, if I don't get 100, then I'm probably not going to donate them anyway, right? So... Either way. Having all my bone fragments in one place is not necessarily the worst thing, regardless. You do have hope that things will change with balancing it with balancing out, yeah. I think if uh, if they play their cards right, the developers behind Paleo, I think they'll they've got a really good thing on their hands. It's just a matter of seeing where it goes from here. And like I said, it's still like very early in its open beta stage. It's 
it's a con it's a continually developing game. There's there's no way of telling what it's gonna look like even in like a month from now. Oh, I should probably get some speed buffs back on, huh? I'm missing my zoomies. Hold on, I'm just gonna- wait, can I get- wait, can I get to that one? Oh, it's like- it's just barely out of my reach. It's out of my reach. Unfortunate. The people love Pi. The people love Pi and they love Timbeam. I'm glad for it. Because I love them just as much. We started today at, what, 48 pieces of bone. Ooh, there's three more right there. You'll love to see that. Oh, there was another crate down there, but that's okay. It was, just, it was a little out of the way anyway. So ideally, to stay relatively on track, we would want to hit 62 or 63 pieces of bone found today. That'll keep us on the same pace that we've been on. We're, we're ahead of pace, technically. So it's not super critical. Oh my gosh. What, what this is the best floor of all time? <laughs> Could you imagine if we... Oh my... We need more star floors, it turns out. We need star-shaped floors. Can you get some stars in chat? Because that was a that was a base floor right there. Two crates for the price of one, basically. If we can get more star layout floors with crates and barrels in the exact same spots, then <laughs> then we're looking pretty. Oh, cool. maybe we don't need it, or maybe we do, because I can't get that one either. Is this a test run, or is this for real? For the jokes, welcome on in. This is this is real. We are the the quest is live, and we are currently making it work. We have gathered so far between our. Multitudes of Skull Cavern runs and artifact troves. Well, not artifact troves, but artifact spots. We are currently up to 60 pieces of bone. If we get three, at least at least two or three more today, then we're on a great pace. I mean, we're already on an amazing pace, but if we, we, we want to stay ahead of that pace, or keep that pace up, then we need two or three more, so... I think we're probably going to get two or three more given the amount of time they're still left in the day. Yeah, the 4-1 reset is a phenomenal tactic. I don't know why I didn't even, like, consider this, to be honest. I guess maybe in my brain I was like, crates and barrels can't spawn on the first floor of Skull Caverns, but I don't know, that just, like, feels like something that should be true, but it actually isn't. I'm glad for it. Museum Grakreeds, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker once again, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. feel like this is this is this is worth it they placed it just within eyesight of me it has to be worth it right turns out the answer was no no it does not have to be worth it mm, probably a bit too roundabout of a journey to get that one Ooh, this is a good floor though what the heck it's the slammer. I don't really care about the slammer. We're past the point where we need to worry about that. We're pretty we're pretty late into the game at this point. I feel like the slammer has outlived its, its usefulness. I'm already at combat level um zero. So I think I think i I can do better than that. The best part of floor one is no iridium bats. That's very that's a very good point, honestly. The Iridium Bats are, are a nightmare. They're basically, like, equivalent as far as, like, damage sources to the Serpents. And the more we can minimize that, the, uh, <laughs> the better off we'll be for sure. Wait, that slime was sneaking up on me. I was afraid. You know a monster I've never encountered in Stardew Valley, but I know exists, are those, uh, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, we're going double lucky ring build, friends. Let's go. Rock out. All right, two lucky rings in two days. I'm here for it. Uh, get this out of here. <laughs> two lucky rings in two days. The luck is popping off. Uh, those are two naturally spawning organic lucky rings, and there's our three bone fragments. We are officially on good pace, or maintaining our good pace for this quest. Chat, I think there's a chance. I know we're already three hours into the stream, but we're going into overtime. I think we're going to go ahead and be able to craft a bone mill today. I'm feeling the momentum carry me. Do you hear those bones click a clacking in the distance? Bone mill is in our future. Star floor, but no crates or barrels. Unfortunate. Oh, my speed buffs are all but gone here. I would love to combine our lucky rings now into, like, other rings, but you need... Oh, my goodness. You need cinder shards to do that, don't you? You need cinder shards to do anything at the forge, so that might be project for the future. Uh, no crates or barrels there. I do see a little drop shaft, but probably not worth the effort. Double lucky rings all the way across my fingers. There's a pink cake! Exclamation point Haley. All good. It's going to feel weird going home without my glow ring on. I'll admit that fully and readily, but <laughs> like I'm going to get home. Guaranteed this is how it's going to go. I'm going to like forget that I've even mentioned this by the time it's it, I'm ready to warp home. I'm going to warp home and be like, why is it so dark? <laughs> exact, that's exactly how it's going to go. I, to, I know myself. I know my sister like I know my own mind. Two lucky rings to match my leprechaun shoes. What I was gonna say though, actually, is that the one monster that I've never encountered in Stardew Valley is there. there is a special variety of the Iridium bats that are like, they're bright red. They're like tinted red. And they have like extra health and extra attack power. And they only spawn starting on floor 880 of Skull Cavern. Why that specific floor? Look, I'm not concerned, Dave, don't ask me. But I've, I've only, I know they exist. I've seen video footage of them, but I do not, I've never seen one personally. And hopefully I never will, because that sounds scary. Regular Iridium bats are already too much for me. Aren't those fire bats? There are, like, red bats. Like, there's bats, like, that are red, the magma bats or whatever they are. Those are a step below Iridium bats, right? This is, like, a special, like, red version of Iridium bats specifically. Which always, like, freaked me out. I thought I said bread. Some bread bats? That sounds kind of delicious, honestly. I could go for some bread bats. A bat of bread? Isn't that isn't a bat of bread just a baguette? Now I'm picturing, like, a, like a softball team. That just uses baguettes as their as their bats of choice. And you might be like, a baguette would surely break under the force of a, of like a single contact with a ball moving at that speed. To that I raise you, what if the baguettes were extremely stale? Rock hard? I think there's a chance. We've barely scratched the surface of ba of stale baguette technology.
French softball. And the best part is that once you once you're done, the winning team can take all the baguettes and they can consume them. You probably want to dip them in like a soup or something like that. Ooh, oh gosh, I'm getting hungry. I'm already a little bit hungry. And now I'm getting more hungry thinking about a French onion soup with a little bit of little bit of bread on the side. Oh my goodness. Chat, I have not had French onion soup in so long. Sounds amazing. Cheesy garlic bread, so good. Been a while since I've had that either, to be honest with you. Bone fragments, please. Bone, bone me. You're lurking, but that made you say, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Argon context? What did I say? I didn't say anything weird, did I? Was it when I said bone me? You know what song I was reminded of the other day was uh, the Oscar Mayer Wiener song? I forgot that they had like a jingle and I forgot that it like went so hard. I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. I don't think that's the actual melody of it, but I heard it the other day and it stuck in my head for a bit. It's not there anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> it's like it's like Bond Me with but with bones, exactly. Wickedy knows what I'm talking about. We are we are out of coffee. We are only relying on super meals for our speed buffs anymore. Our speed buffs. For if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be. In, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting the melody right. What's the melody of that song? Chat, can you sing me the melody of the Oscar Mayer Wiener song, please? Type it out phonetically. It would be a big help. Dude, we're, we're getting this floor all the time and getting no crates or barrels on it. I'm so sad. If I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That's the same, but I'm singing it to like, it's not the same melody as like, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. But that's the song, that's the melody that I have in my, in my head, but it's not the right one. I know it's not, but I can't pinpoint the actual Oscar Mayer Wiener song now. Home Zone, welcome on in. Good to see you. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt is now stuck in your head. I wish I were... I wish I were an Oscar Mayer Wiener song please lisa linken me the song hold on i got i gotta get i gotta get this in my head i'd love to be an oscar meyer wiener it's what i truly want to be and if i were an oscar meyer wiener everyone would be in love with me it's i only listened to like the first second of it but it's it's yeah no it's it's a very different song it's so, that's good though. Oh the Oscar Mayer Wiener song. <laughs> Why does it go so hard? Why do those jingles for food and like commercials and stuff always go? They 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 always seem to get stuck in my head way more than like actual songs. 
Oh my goodness. Five bone fragments out of one box? What did we do to deserve that? I guess that's the lucky rings for you. Although maybe not really, but maybe really, really. I mean, if you look carefully, I think a lucky fr lucky ring is just a bone fragment on like a on a circle. Big bone energy. They're supposed to get stuck in your head. I guess that makes sense. You know, one that got stuck in my head. That that it's a. Wait, is this a song? Is this a song that was designed to advertise, or is it just a song that? Uh... If the song, by the way, I should probably preface it with that. The song is I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Was that designed for an advertisement or was it just used in an advertisement? Five more bone fragments, by the way. <laughs> Holy. Holy moly. I'm thinking of hippopotami and I'm getting freaking bones out the wazoo. Just a novelty song? I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles or rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses. And hippopotamuses like me too. Spiral floor. My first friend, my enemy. Maybe the last floor I ever see. How many bones are left? We can check once we get out of here. Eat. We currently need... We need 24 more bones in, like, four days, basically, because this fifth this day is almost done. 24 bones in four days. I think we're... I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> I think we got this quest on lock. Even, we don't even have to resort to, like, uh, artifact troves or gold coconuts, probably. I think the floor one skull cavern gambit was the was the best way to do this. Whose idea was this? There was someone specific who mentioned it towards the start of the stream. I gotta give you credit. I wish I, I wish I remembered your name, but unfortunately my memory is bad. Honeywell, it was you. Honeywell. Get some claps and some hype in chat for Honeywell. You might not have been the only person or the first person to to bring up this method, but you're the you're the one who I saw. And you deserve some credit for that. Thank you for cuz th this quest could have gone very differently and a lot more hectically without this method. Now it's kind of laid back and casual, honestly. It's got that that winter forge farming energy a little bit. Honestly, what this really brings me back to more than anything is geode farming. It's not quite as uh, quite as monotonous as geode farming was. There's, I mean, the parallels are pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to Honeywell for that one. You think it was Pelinar? Pelinar had something had another thing for us. I don't remember what. You're right. Pelinar did have another tip for us. But I think Honeywell was the floor one reset thing. Way more interesting than geode farming. It's it's very similar in principle, but the hype for finding bone fragments is way better, is way bigger than the hype for finding geodes. Because the geodes, it's just like, we got another geode, more money, yay. Now, every single bone fragment is like 5% of the way to, to achieving our dreams here. The geodes were abstract. Good way of putting it. The geodes were abstract. The bone fragments are concrete. Well, they're they're bone, but they're concrete in principle. Ooh! I was like, there's no way I'm gonna go all the way out of my way for that one barrel, and then I was like, what if it contains bones, though? And you know what? It did contain bones, chat. It did. Don't tell me it wasn't worth it. Two more, baby. Can we? Do you think we can get any more? 
I'm gonna pop out of here. I'm gonna warp home at around like 1.30 like usual. You think we can get a single other bone crate? Ooh, I'll take that. They should make a game where instead of loot boxes, it's bone boxes. That's about as far as that thought went. <laughs> I was just like, bone boxes. Bone crates. What would even we be in? I mean, it would have to... How many words... How many, times have, how many times have I said the word bone this stream, by the way? The answer is probably too many. But it was bound to happen. Need a bone counter? I've said a few bone mows. Why does it matter? It doesn't necessarily. I'm just curious. I'm just nat a naturally curious person. Even if the facts don't matter, I they interest me for the sake of knowledge in and of itself. One more. One more, one more crate. One more crate, one more bone. All right, just a bunch of copper ore. You can't, I mean, can't make bones out of copper. They'll oxidize. Who do you think we are? Chat, it's so dark. No. So dark because I'm not wearing my glow ring. I'm spooked. There we go. Made it to bed safely this time, at least. Alright. Pop this away. I'm gonna put the magma geodes. We'll save them for potential geode manipulation tactics, although I don't really think we'll need them. But we have them, nevertheless. Put this away. Uh, Put the fire quartz away. You never know when we're gonna need some refined quartz or something like that. Spooky, scary skeletons, waltz ones and twos and threes. Alright. Bring in dresser, we'll put the gold ore away in our blacksmith fridge. We got a warp totem ready to go, we got some extra speed buffs here. Alright, here is the current state of the bone. Four days remaining. We have four days to acquire 22 bone items and then deposit them at Gunther's. Can we do it, chat? I think we're I think we're on pretty good pace. I don't even feel the need to put it up to a poll or anything like that. I think I think we're uh I think we're sitting pretty on this one. Alright, back at it. Yes indeed. NCS, welcome on in. Good to see you. What does Ijbol mean? It's a new acronym. Kids these days are... They decided that LOL, L-O-L, was, was not cool enough for them anymore. Wait. Is this... Okay, no, that's not guaranteed to be an infested floor. All right, that's good to know. They decided that laughing out loud was... not cool anymore, so they decided to... Wait a second. What the heck is going on here? It, it's, it stands for I just burst out laughing. For the record, before I get derailed any further. Chat? <laughs> I think, uh, I think we got a problem. There was, it, that one time it wasn't infested. Yeah, it's, oh, it's if it's a mummy floor. If we, if we happen to roll a mummy floor, then it's not an infested floor. But any other floor layout is going to be an infested floor. Which means I think this is probably not worth it. Reset the day. I don't think that'll change. Oh, hold on a minute. This is not a mummy floor. Bone? Might be a ginger island panning day. 
This is this is also infested. Yeah, I don't think resetting. I think because it goes on a day by day basis, right? So we. I mean, I can try and reset. There's no reason not to, I guess. Let's at least have a look and see if this is an effective tactic. Oh, well, over 150 hours of playtime. Couldn't be me. Pop these away. I'm just gonna put the geos in here, to be honest with you. Do glow ring. Goes in there. I only need three more bone items for a hundred donations. True. But I feel like we're on a good enough pace, I don't even need to worry about donating until I actually collect all the bones. Because I'd rather not donate. Because, like, if I donate and then I, like, don't hit, the, like, the 100 threshold, then I'll lose all those bone items. Right? Or maybe they'll go into, like, Lost and Found or something. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it for right now, though. Okay. Let's go ahead and consume Super Meal. And in case we end up going to Ginger Island, I'm going to bring one of these with me. A little Miner's Treat. Let me pop over to Skull Cavern one more time just to make sure that it is going to be an infested floor. They go to the Lost and Found of Lewis's. That's what, yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure at first, but then I walked through the process in my head and I was like, I'm pretty sure you can just get them back. Okay, not infested, but it is a mummy floor. I mean, <laughs> another mummy floor, that's... Not not a great test so far. This area is overrun with monsters. All right, that seems seems about right. All right, so this is still not good. Wait, there's a chance we could get some bones out of doing this still still today, but our odds are vastly worse than they otherwise would be with this infested floor shenanigans going on. So I think we'll have to go ahead and skip out on the Skull Cavern grind today. Which does put us behind the eight ball a little bit. So there's two options today, I think, the way I see it. We can either go to the regular mines and do the same thing we've been doing on like the like 80 plus floors to get bone fragments that way. Probably not as effective, but it could still be effective. Or we go to Ginger Island for what people are saying, panning, artifact spots, all that good stuff. Zoom me back in. By the way, if I'm not doing Skull Cavern today, I'm playing at my 100% zoom level, because that's where I feel most at home. <laughs> Ginger Island first. Uh, Yeah, let's go Ginger Island then. I think you're- I think y'all are right. Let's go to Ginger Island. Do a quick sweep and clear for artifact spots in there. And then we will go panning. Panning should be a breeze with two lucky rings. Do you think we'll get any more lucky rings because of our current lucky rings? There's a reasonable chance, I would say. Where's my pan? It's on Ginger Island. Guaranteed. Hello, little crab friend. He's dance. Look at that crab dance. Oh my gosh. He he did the... <laughs> he went across the entire freaking boardwalk. Y'all yelling at me about the pan. I <laughs> it's, the, it's the stream delay, I know. It's the stream delay. We got the pan over here. I promise. I promise. I made sure to leave it here. See? We're all good. Pan, pan. Pan, 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 pan. Alright. Quick jog around the island for a little artifact spot potentiality. There wasn't any on this beach. Let's go ahead and quickly check for some mummified frogs as well. Beat, beat. That's 
a that's a real frog. If I take the real if I take the frog and mummify it, will that do just as well? You think? Although I guess I don't really know how to mummify something, so. Chad, would you be mad if I just, like, walked over here and just traded away all my bone fragments for tarot tubers? What if I was like, you know, we can always get... Ooh, the banana put Chat, the banana pudding recipe, though? Hold on a minute. Wait, we actually need that. We actually need that, though? Chat? I got the bone fragments already. Chat, we're gonna need that. What if, what if our next goal is to cook a banana pudding? What if, chat? <laughs> Ooh, I see a panning spot already. I'll take that. <laughs> One bone down. I guess I'll keep the gold war for right now. I heard the panning spot. I'm just going up here to check for artifact spots. Boom. Is that the same spot? I think that was the exact same spot. Bruh. That's great. Because the same spot on, like, the same day will give you the same panning result, I'm pretty sure. That's how you can get, like, multiple lucky rings in a day if you're, if you're, if you're lucky. Ooh, I see you. Another fossilized... That's th We're three for three on panning bones? Four for four? What the heck is this, dude? These fossilized tails, they're not supposed to be this common. That's so many tails. And these do count as bones. We can we can double check that right there. We have four extra bones that we did not previously have. The lucky ring strikes. feeling like Poxiel out here. Didn't Poxiel just do 100 days, but he was only panning? Like, he, he really just panned for 100 days straight? I didn't I didn't watch the video yet, but I saw it float by in my recommended. That's pretty wild. Panning with Poxiel. Oh, I see it. Can I get it? Can. Nice. Omni Geode. I will take that over the coal. It was a lot of panning. I would imagine so. Did he start like on Ginger Island or did he have to like unlock Ginger Island and all the panning and stuff? I would imagine if you're doing 100 days of pure panning, you would just like start with like the panning stuff already unlocked. I guess I should just watch the video and see how he did it. If it's 100 days of panning in the dig site, though, you could probably make some decent money off that, honestly. He had an Iridium pan? What the heck? He got a leaked version of 1.6? Wait, I heard it. I heard it. I see it. I can't reach that. There's no shot. Rip. Rip. You can't get multiple panning spots at the same time, can you? So we have to, like, wait for that one to go. If we get enough bone fragments, we can save the skeletons for Professor Snail. That's true, actually, yeah. If we get up to, like, 100 bone fragments or more. I would ideally, like, 110 bone fragments or more, so we have the 10 ready for crafting the bone mill itself. What does IIRC mean? It means uh, if I remember correctly. Imagine if you got this task without Skull Cavern or Ginger Island access. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe still doable. Maybe. <laughs> but it's not, uh, let's, let's just put it this way. It's not what you want to see as your first goal.
Chat, what else do I need to craft a bone mill? I know we need the 10 bone fragments, but there's other stuff as well. I don't think it's anything, like, earth-shatteringly difficult to find or anything like that, but it, I should be aware of it at the very least, just in case. Just stone. Yeah, I wanted to say clay. Clay and stone sounds about right, though. Oh. Oh, I think this is... No, wait, I think the bone tail spot was one down. There are tubers. Maybe I should actually be saving those, but... It's fine. Listen. Hey, listen. Oh, there was it. Austin. No, don't do this to me. Why? <laughs> Bro. Oh, yeah, it's gone already. All right, fair enough. At least it didn't sit around for like 90 seconds like the other one did. panning out well. So far, so good. I mean, four, four fossilized tails, even if that's all we get from this panning trip, I would consider that an absolute success. Uh, tarot tubers. I think I probably should keep the tarot tubers, to be honest. What do I take them over? Honestly, over the miner's tree right now. We don't need that. Because we're not doing artifact spot stuff. Karita Hearts, welcome on in. Welcome back, I should say. We are still alive indeed. Because we got we got the quest, I gotta see it through at this point. I can't leave it mid-quest on a cliffhanger like that. It's just not who I am. Largely because I think we can probably complete this goal today, and then we can get to see what goal 20 is, which I'm here for. I thought this I thought the bone mill would take bare minimum like two streams. The fact that we're that we have a that we have a shot at doing it in one here, even if it is an elongated stream, is pretty great. How many tarot tubers for bones? You can't trade tarot tubers for bones, unfortunately. It's it's vice versa. But having tarot tubers is still good for the future, I think. Because there's a quest where you have to like ship a bunch of them. Or we might have to ship a bunch of them at least. Earth crystal, not worth it really. Oh, where was it? Same spot. Another earth crystal, I think. Or not. Must have been like one spot over or something like that. Welcome on in, Chaotica. We got the quest pretty early on. I think we only had to check the board like four, four or five times, something like that. Six copper ore, probably not worthwhile here. We started off very strong here with these fossilized tails. Unfortunately, the bone luck is a little bit, has dried up a little bit. No one likes a dry bone. Actually, Dry Bones is a pretty cool character, though. My Mario Kart main when I was a, a Wii lad growing up with Mario Kart Wii was definitely Dry Bowser. I loved him. I still love Dry Bowser. He's not. He wouldn't be my go-to choice anymore, I don't think. But he is. Uh, he is still a fun choice for sure. Oil of garlic prevents infested floors. I think that's a myth. I don't believe it actually does. I could be wrong. Should I look for spots on the Ginger Island farm? I mean, we already know that there's a decent amount of fossilized tail spots here. We just haven't been lucky enough to hit them. And the, I think the I think the farm is too big for panning spots to be a realistic possibility. No worries, Allie. Lurk, lurk away. Do 
I do like the shooting stars we're getting every so often around here. You meant digging? We checked that when we first got here, right? We checked for artifact spots. I don't think I can get that, can I? No! Alright, well, we'll watch this one, see if it disappears quick. Otherwise, we might just have to head out of here early. Four bones today, not the best. Because of the club... The club? The skull cavern stymieing. Freaking art of freaking infested floor ruining our day. But tomorrow, fingers crossed, we should be able to go back to Skull Cavern and be totally fine. No, yeah, we're definitely going back to Skull Cavern. Skull Cavern has been treating us much better than the than this panning. I didn't realize. I didn't. I didn't think that the. Uh, a little sleep bubble would get a, get reflected in the water like that, to be honest with you. All right, I'm going to go... And actually, I'm going to go put away my pan. I want to leave it here on Ginger Island. I'm just going to go leave a little bit early here and do that. And then we will warp on home, I think. Maybe the Lucky Ring is not helping us with panning. It was great right off the bat. Like, when we first got there, we got these four fossilized tails... Just back to back to back to back. And then frickin' nothing. I guess it averaged out in the end. Alright. Put the copper pan away. Uh, leave the tarot tubers here, because why not? They're islandy. And we're out of here. Did we check far, far left of farm? I don't think we did check the far left of the farm. You got me there, but... If there's a single snake spine over there, snake vertebra, then I'm willing to, to eat the loss on that one. Boom, boom. All right. Another day down, not nearly as productive, but we're still well ahead of schedule. We are currently sitting at a beautiful 82 bones. We need to get 18. Chad, do you think we can get 18 tomorrow just from Skull Cavern? I think there is a chance. Based based on our current trajectory and our and what we've seen in the past, I think it's highly doable. Eighteen is cake. I don't know if I'd go as far to say that it's cake. Ooh, maybe it's an energy tonic though. What's our luck today? I'll I'll hit you up with a little luck check. You believe? You believe? Exclamation point optimism. We love to see it. Spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. If the day is in my hands, I know what shape I'm gonna mold it into. Can you guys guess? Can you guys guess what shape? We're going to mold this day into. Post your guesses in chat. In the form of emojis. Ooh. Scorpion carps are stirring up a, a ruckus. You guys know me too well. You guys know it's going to be a bone-shaped day. Alright, I will zoom out once again. For maximum skull cavern efficiency. Start off strong with some bones here. I meant over here. Fake bones. Iron ore is not real bones. There is iron in your bones, I think. I would imagine so, but... I guess your bones are mainly calcium, right? Iron is in the blood. But there's got to be some, like, cross-contamination there. I don't know. I never took biology. I can't really get that one. Iron is fool's bones. Iron is in the blood, and blood vessels run through bones, so technically, yes. That's what I figure. I mean, it's all, it's all part of the same system, right? 
all part of, part of the same hebo hemoglobin -y goodness. Bones are made of bones. True words have never been spoken. Chad, if you drink lots of milk, will it actually make your bones stronger? Is that is that scientific fact, or is that just a sneaky way for parents to like make you drink more milk? No, that's why it seems too good to be true, right? Because milk is already pretty good, at least in my opinion. I quite like I quite enjoy the taste of milk, and I'm like, yo, if milk is good and it makes my bones healthier, then I'd be like. I'd be pogging up. I'd be drinking milk every single day. It's at least a way to, way to make sure you get calcium. I mean, yeah, milk is still, like, good for you in the sense that it's a good calcium delivery system. And calcium is good for you, I'm pretty sure. But lactose intolerant disagree? Fair enough. I got no argument for you there. Need vitamin D to process it into bone. So if you drink milk out in the sun, then you're that's the best of both worlds. Oh please, please. At least we got one crate. Milk is an animal protein. Animal proteins process in your body to pro to process in your body requires calcium, so you actually lose calcium. There have been studies that show who that show those who drink milk regularly are more likely to break their bones. What the heck, man? It's the exact opposite effect. But I love milk. I don't want to have flimsy bones. I guess if you drink, like, it, it, that's probably only, a, a, like, a major concern. Or a real concern, anyway, if you drink, like, nothing but milk, right? If you're drinking exclusively milk, then, I mean, it's probably going to cause health complications no matter what. If you only drink or eat, like, the same one thing, no matter what it is, you're going to have complications at some point, one way or another. There probably are some foods that you could just eat or drink, like, exclusively that for the rest of your life and be okay, but they have to be, like, very specific foods, probably. And you might be like, okay, nutrition-wise, but would you be happy? Water is S-tier. No contest here. But yeah, even, even too much water is bad for you. You're not wrong. You can get, like, water poisoning. Sparkling water is F-tier. I think sparkling water is hyped up more than it ought to be. I wouldn't say sparkling water is F tier, though. I would say sparkling water sits comfortably for me as far as, like, in, in, in the grand scheme of all drinks, like in the tier list of every drink that I've ever had, I would say, like, flavored sparkling waters probably land comfortably in the lower B tier. I think I would rather have a, like, you know, like a, a cherry-flavored sparkling water beverage than a considerable amount of things, but not nearly as much as I would want to have, you know. Honestly, like, regular water is probably above sparkling water. I would take just, like, regular old tap water over sparkling water most of the time. Kids need milk because it's easy and mostly accessible way for kids to get nutrients but far and, far and fat, but too much milk can lead to anemia in kids. The more you know. Thank you. Lemon water is your fave. Lemon water is really, really good. It's like a nice, just little hint of lemon in the lemon water. You don't want to overdo it. Have the little wedge right on the side of the glass. 
Ooh. The picturesque drink for a beautiful summer day. A little bit of hardwood that we don't need. A little bit more hardwood that we don't need. It's all right. We haven't gotten any bones today, I'm pretty sure. But the day is still very young, so I'm not stressing. Who needs water when you can have G Fuel? I mean, there's probably water in G Fuel. Because G Fuel is just like a powder, right? Without without the water, it's nothing. I mean, that's true of like it, literally everything on Earth. Without water, it's nothing. There are, there are very few things that can subsist without water. What even is G Fuel? It's like an energy drink as far as I understand it. I've never had it. Game or fuel. You see it, you see like, uh, you see them sponsor like streamers and YouTubers from time to time. One sponsorship that I've seen in the past, I don't see it that often, but every so often it'll come up, is it's like another energy drink type thing. It's called like Gamer Sups. I don't see it nearly as often as they see like G Fuel and stuff, but I have heard of it. It's lodged itself in my brain, and I'm like, I don't really like the name. <laughs> I get it, Gamer Supplements, but Gamer Sups? It just, something about it makes me feel kind of squicky, I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's, it's, it's a great time if you, enjoy, if you enjoy it, but based on the, on names alone, don't judge a book by its cover and don't judge a drink by its name, but Gamer Sups? Yeah, it's uncomfy sounding, exactly. I don't want to, like... I don't want to sup on anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm the weird one. Your ex was obsessed with G Fuel but never drank it. Just collected all the flavors. What the heck? <laughs> Look, there's some things I can understand collecting. Like, even, like consumable things like like scotch i understand like because scotch is a very expensive drink especially like a lot of the higher end stuff and a lot of the bottles look very nice but g fuel collecting collecting g fuel now i've seen it all The most expensive bottle of scotch I have ever seen. It's not one that we carry at our store, because I, I work at a liquor store as, like, my day job. But I've seen it in another store. It was a... Well, take a guess. Why don't you guys take a guess? What do you think... I think the most expensive bottle of scotch that we have at our store is probably, like, $500. What's the most expensive one you think... I know of though, or that I've seen like in person. Hey, just just take a take a ballpark guess, why don't you? I want to I want to see. Seven hundred and sixty nine, fifteen hundred, six thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, one thousand, thirty two thousand, five k, thirty five hundred. I'm going to tell you, every single one of those guests is a low ball. This was a $65,000 bottle of scotch. La Laisha Witt, you are the closest with $69,420. I don't even, I don't remember what the name of it was, but like, I saw it and I was like, like, just why, dude? No one's ever drinking that if they're buying it either. That's the, that's the funniest thing to me, is that that's exclusively for, like, a scotch collector. Like, you're buying that, it's putting you put it in your scotch cabinet, and it's gone forever. You're never opening that, because, like, why would you? <laughs> Macallan 50 year? That might have been it, honestly. That sounds familiar. That's, like, 80k. 
Yeah, scotch prices go crazy. It's like, would you like to buy a bottle of scotch or a freaking car? <laughs> like, like, at what point is it worth it, man? Some people have too much money. Wonder if it's good? No one will ever know, because no one's ever going to drink it. Most expensive one you've ever heard of is over 200k. I would believe that. I would believe that there are probably some scotches out there if you, like, looked it up and you were really interested in it. You could probably find some that have, like, gone at auction for, like, over a million dollars or something. Oh, finally! All right. <laughs> the bone drought is officially over. We've got five extra bones today. It wasn't a total waste of a day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Has the bone dam finally broken? Will, will we just start getting bones upon bones now? I certainly hope so. We need 13 more bones in addition to what we just got, I believe. I believe we only need 13 more. Yep. Should be highly doable in the amount of time we still have left. I would like to get it done today, if possible. Like, today, this in-game day. But I can't guarantee. Ooh, three bone fragments right there, though. We're down to our final 10. It's the final countdown. The final bone down. Bone appetite. Can I get around to that one? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm feeling lucky. They're guarding these crates for a re- Look at how many mummies there are. These crates are well protected for- Okay, well. <laughs> they literally had nothing in them. They debated me. Bone apple tea. Yummy. <laughs> you know what, was, what made me chuckle the other day? Is I saw... Uh, is someone was talking... I forget whose stream I was watching. But they started talking... They mentioned Hugh Jackman. Like the actor. And someone in chat... <laughs> they wrote they wrote out... Instead of Hugh Jackman, they wrote out, wrote out Huge Act Man. And that just made... That just tickled me in the right way. He's a he's a huge act man, dude. He's <laughs> Oh, it's it's so fitting. I love it. He's a huge man who acts. There you go. Bust that one out at the next at your next party. <laughs> It's not where you thought that was going. I'm, gl I'm glad. I hope I threw you for a bit of a curveball. Oh, we also officially have 100 bone fragments in pocket, by the way. So that means we don't have to donate technically anything other than bone fragments to complete the quest. But we still want extra bone fragments for actual crafting. He is also a huge jacked man. True. Is it worth it? I'm taking a chance. I'm taking a chance on this one. There is a staircase at least halfway through here. Meet me halfway. I don't have my freaking pickaxe, dude. I can't even get there through there. Man. You just know that there's like 10 bone fragments waiting right over there. Hey there, Bex. music sounds so hopeful. I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful and optimistic that today we're gonna be crafting a bone mill. Before this stream is out, we will have crafted a bone mill. This is what I promise you right now. I can't tell you exactly how long the stream's gonna go. We might close in on five hours today, a bit of a longer one, but you know what? I am going on vacation after this week. I, I leave on Friday, so might as well get a few longer streams in while I got the opportunity here, right? I'm gonna miss you guys. Just another commenter, 4,000. We are still streaming. Well, come on in. Do 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to the vacation. It's going to be the first time we're going out to visit my grandma out in Ontario. And it's going to be the first time that we've uh, that we've seen her and probably... I don't even know. Ooh, five more bone fragments. Get me out of here before I freaking die and lose them all. <laughs> uh, it's going to be the first time we've seen her in probably like five years or more. Very excited for it. We are literally five bones. Five bones. We could be as little as one crate or barrel away from completing this goal, by the way. Any one of these could be the one. That's fake bones right there. Don't, don't try to fool me, you sussy iron ore. Five more bones. It's not likely to be in a single more single other crate. The five bone crates are pretty rare, but it could be, and that's the point. Please, can we get it before this happy, hopeful song is out? That would be even better. Don't forget to bake your fake bones when I get home. I don't need any, any fake bone bars until probably sometime in the foreseeable future, but you know, maybe I should be smelting some stuff. I guess I can't think of anything that we would need, like, a ton of metal bars in order to... to make work. Nothing that we can't just smelt when we need to. I'll take a... I'll take a lark on this staircase right here. Staircase, aka ladder. Ooh, or a hole. Anytime I see a hole, that's a chance for bones right there. I'm just going to let that one sit for a while. <laughs> Your broken bones. I mean, we do take a considerable amount of damage when we, uh, when we fall down a hole. We fall down the hole into the bone zone. Please? What happened to you? You got stuck in the freaking wall. I feel a little bad. Ooh. Rip Museum. We won't get to donate today. We are past the donation window. But if we can get all the bones we need for tomorrow... We'll be sitting pretty. We could even like take a few extra days of siesta just to just to enjoy the presence of our bones. Do I have all 100 collected? No, we're f currently five short. We're waiting on five more bones. I bones in a dream. But even even two or three extra bones from one of these crates, I'm not I'm not turning my nose up at it. Cuz you can add two and three to get five. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you can add you can add those smaller numbers to get larger numbers. It's kind of wild. Once you start, once you start adding numbers and you get larger numbers, it's it's like, it's addictive. It's hard to stop. Did I collect 100 in the quest? No, we are at 95. I can put in 95 bone fragments and five fossils. Yeah, but I have to collect 100. For for the quest to complete, I have to gather 100 and I have to donate 100. I have to complete both of those requirements. Oh, and there it is. All right, perfect. <laughs> Easy as that. I love the little ding, the little ding right at the end. Yo, we got the bones. There it is. Now get me the frick zoomed back in here, please. I need my 100% zoom. Ah, back at home. 110 bones and a dream. 
gather 100 pieces of bone. Why don't you make it a little harder next time, huh? All right, it's still light out. You're not wrong. Yeah, Sandy's still freaking open. Holy. Let's go home. Before the end of the song, too. You're not... That's, yeah, the song is literally just winding down right now. All right. We can go home. We don't, don't even have to worry about, like, rushing to bed. It's nice and chillax. Say a quick hello to our gold clock. Hello, gold clock. Pet the gold clock real quick. And then tomorrow we get to donate some bones. I'm going to go ahead and donate. Let's see. We have nine here. Should I donate all of this? Or should I save some of these for... Um... The future. Or for, like, other purposes. Well, the palm fossil we can donate. For, it doesn't matter. Fossilized tails. I don't think we've donated. Mummified frog. Like, it would be nice to keep these for the actual fossil collection. But here's the thing. We have 110 bone fragments. We need 10 of those for the... Oh, I guess, yeah. No, we just donate the bone fragments, right? We just donate all the bone fragments? We're fine, yeah. Okay, we're good. For some reason... I wasn't mathing right in my head. My math was going all helter skelter. I want my oh I don't have inventory space. That's why it's not letting me take it. Alright, fair enough. Alright. No, we're good then. Yeah, so we we just keep we just keep these. We'll keep the bone chest for right now. Just let that be. And that's all she wrote. We got our bones. So what we need, so we'll just donate the bones tomorrow, then I think we get the recipe the next day for the bones, right? Or for the for the bone mill, rather. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab. Oh, I forgot I, I totally skipped on like cask day. I didn't even think about that. I was so lasered in on the bone the bone stuff. Okay. You're going to get my inventory all, all gussied up here. Bone chest, you mean ribs? Is this the first craft goal? It is actually the first crafting goal. The first thing we're ever going to craft in Stardew Valley is a freaking bone mill. <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? We have all these other crafting recipes and haven't made use of that out of any of them. Are we even going to use the bone mill at all? I honestly couldn't tell you. If there's any opportunity to use the bone mill or for the bone mill to be useful this is the challenge for it to be useful we will probably end up using it in the future in some way or another i very i don't think i've ever used a bone mill productively myself but the potential for it to happen is here okay get that all sorted out like that uh, I'm going to go ahead and deposit my homie sword. Thank you, you served me well. Couldn't have gotten all those bones without you. Let me take my scythe. I'm going to take the scythe and the axe again, just for a sapling potential. Alright. Lock it in. First cook complete breakfast. <laughs> what a what a weird save file, right? What a, The first friend we made was the dwarf. First thing we ever cooked, freaking complete breakfast. First fish we caught was a blue discus. <laughs> and the first thing we're going to end up crafting is a freaking bone mill. Wait, was the blue discus the first thing we caught? It was, wasn't it? I think so. That sounds right. I don't know. And then the second one was like an octopus. <laughs> Either octopus or... No, it was... It, there was something in between there. There was like something, something easy in between there, like a red mullet or something. That's crazy, dude. I love the randomizer so much. Randomness is... Randomness is great. Boom. Blue discus, then the herring. I don't think we've had the herring. I think we had the red mullet. Or did we have the herring? We can check. No, we haven't had a herring yet. Uh, do I have... Extra... Oh, no, I just put all the goat cheese in my casks down there. That's right. 
Second goal was the Desert Obelisk, yeah. That's the, the freaking second thing we did for perfection. Oh, man. What a journey we've been on. And let's continue that journey, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and wait for the museum to open at 8.30. I will go gather my fruit trees in the interim. And then we basically just sleep, craft a bone mill the next day once we get the recipe, and we are good to go. Also, I'm going to go ahead and swap off my rings for right now. We're not doing the seed maker stuff because it's uh, it's neglig negligible right now compared to the money makers that we're currently working with. And we don't need to make that much money. Not just yet. We'll probably come back to it at a certain point. Lucky rings. We've got them now. I mean, if nothing else, we got a bunch of lucky rings out of this uh, out of this quest. And those will prove invaluable for the future of the challenge, I would imagine. First bestie, Sam. First bestie was, and always will be, the homie. You never forget your first. Your first goal, your first friend. And I couldn't be happier that the homie was ours. Was the first farm building the obelisk? I don't remember, <laughs> to be honest with you. It might have been. We might have built a coop beforehand, but... I do not recall, to be honest. Purple banana. The bananas are so big when they pop off the tree now. I love it. It's so satisfying every time. Next goal, marriage star drop. It very well could be. We have, we have befriended Sam, and that's the only criteria for a marriage star drop is to befriend a marriage candidate, so. All right. Let's go make this happen, shall we? Fragments of the past with days to spare is, gonna, is about to be complete. Gunther is not going to know what hit him. Quick check of the garbage, why not? You never know. Here we go. A hundred bones for you, my friend. Enjoy. I'll take that $3,500. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's actually pretty big compared to, like, how much money we currently have. All right. And then tomorrow, craft the dang bone mill. Get some bones in chat, please. Bones. The bones are their money. All right. Bring me to the bus stop. And let's not dally, let's not dilly dally about any further. Take me to bed. I'm no stranger to these sheets. Lock it in. What are the other ingredients, like clay and stone? If it's only clay and stone, which I believe it is, we should have plenty of that to spare. I am not concerned. Let's go find out, shall we? Should be in our mail, waiting for us first thing in the morning. Top of the morning to you, Gunther. Thanks for all the bones! I've got a lot to sort through here to think each fragment belonged to a living, breathing body from the past. Fascinating. Please accept this unique crafting recipe as a thank you gift. Gunther. Yo, Pog. Bone mill. Ten bone fragments, three clay, and twenty stone. I can craft that literally right now. One, two, three, and twenty-seven stone. It was close. <laughs> Closer than I thought it would be. And you know what? Before we do this, let me put the bone goal. Hold on, I forgot that this craft a bone mill thing was still, like, low like this. Let me raise this up to its place of glory. This is the last chance it's going to get to be up in the corner right here. Craft a bone mill. Goal 19 out of 564. Done. One stream. Turn bone items into fertilizers. Put that next to my freaking bone chest. Put that right there. There you go. It's beautiful. So bony. <laughs> <laughs> Goal complete, baby. I don't even have the randomizer open. I have to go open it. I didn't expect to be done today, but here we are. And I could not be happier. Here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to bone me twice? 
randomizer. I, I think the randomizer tried to bone me more than twice, actually. <laughs> All right. Yo, Chad, if you were here, spam it. Feel free to drop it. I was here. I was here. Get the hype in there. I mean, you guys are already way ahead of me, but I'm going to go open us up a randomizer here. And what do you say? We see what goal 20 has in store for us. There's no way that, like, how many back-to-back -back goals can we possibly get that are going to be, like, sh like, these ones? Like, the bone mill was nothing crazy. It turned out to be easier than we thought, but it was still an involved process. There's no shot we get anything. Like, we're, we're due. We're due an easy goal, is all I'm going to say. We are due. It's been way too long. What's the last easy goal we even had? I don't remember. <laughs> All I remember is the gold clock and the freaking bone mill we did. What was right before the gold clock? We caught a red snapper. That's the last thing we did before a gold clock. <laughs> we caught a red snapper like four years ago. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me pop open the randomizer here. Feels like it was just yesterday. It was just last week that we were here. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Looking like a diamond in the rough. And Sarah Yams, with the $5 super chat, your very first super chat. Thank you so much for the support. First live goal, you came at the perfect time. Welcome on in. All right, chat. Speaking of the perfect time, no time like the present. Let me make sure I got my screen regions all good. Ah, boom. Let me do that. All right, perfect. The randomizer tried to throw us a curved ball, rather a curved bone. And we saw that. We f formulated a plan. We executed that plan just perfectly. That bone mill has officially been crafted. Come on now. 19 out of 564, 3.4% of the way there. What will be the illustrious goal 20? What is going to bring us into the third decade of goals here? Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. <sighs> I'm, I'm as nervous as ever. This randomizer has trained me well to be very scared of clicking this button. But... I shouldn't be scared because every single time we've clicked this button, we have risen to the occasion, whatever it might be. And there's only so many more occasions we can possibly rise to. This is a finite number right here, 564. There's only so many nasty goals that are baked into that. There's no way. But if you want to give me another one, you know what, Randomizer? I'm here, spreading my arms wide for you. Take me. Do your worst. Here we go. Three... Two, one, generate. Ship a bat wing. All right. All right. We take those. We take those. It's easy. It's easy. Finally. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Let's just go do it. Let's let's literally just go do that like right now. We probably have a bat wing somewhere. <laughs> Oh, for an easy goal like that, I'm willing to keep the stream going totally, absolutely. Bring you back in here. Easy peasy, pudding in the breezy. Like, do I just have a bat wing? I just have a, I have 11 bat wings. <laughs> I'll just ship one because I could use these for like crafting and stuff in the future. It's, it's perfect. All right, easy as that. Um, I'm going to real quick, I'm not going to replace the goal like in the top left there because it's, I mean, there's no point, but I will do that and I will delete the Nightbot pin for right now. Unpin that. Batwing profits. Yo, we have, we have something else we can ship now for profits. I don't know how prof, how great Batwings are going to be for, for making money in the long run, but it's an option at the very least. Two goals in one stream. How long has it been since we've had multiple goals in a single stream? <laughs> Too long. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right. Ship a freaking bat wing. Go collect my mushrooms. Just get the daily chores out of the way. And then 
and then sleep. Once we once we sleep, that goal is complete. Imagine being able to ship milk. Let's not get too greedy now. Let's let's got not get too over ambitious, shall we? Holy. Eventually we're gonna like there's only it's only so long that they can leave us without a level up goal, right? Like it's, we have one fishing level and that's freaking it. They gotta give us something to level up at some point. I know a lot of us have been clamoring for it, myself included. And I don't want to, you know, put it too much out there in the universe, but it would be nice to get in mining level or something like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, lock it in. Boom. One bat wing for 15 big dollars. Upgrade a tool even? There's so many possibilities. So many possibilities. All right, 20 goals down. We officially are 20 goals into the randomizer challenge. Batwing has been shipped. What's the next? We got a bone mill. What's the next goal? You just saw it, theater kid. We just shipped a Batwing. <laughs> and we're moving on to the next one right freaking now. Let me, let me pop on over. Let me just make sure this is in a good spot. Goal 21. Let's just keep them, keep them coming at this point. Okay, bring me in. Oop, that doesn't look right. Hold on a second. Why is my screen region being all silly now? Come on now. Let me... Do, do, do. Oh, there we go. Okay, that that seems... I think that's good now. That's weird. Hold on a sec. I'm just making... OBS is giving me issues, but I think we're good. OBS does that to you sometimes, too. I don't know what causes that, but... I think we are good now. Yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. Goal 19. Or goal 20, rather. Ship a bat wing. Easy peasy. See what else we got in the in the hopper here, shall we? Don't make me craft a hopper, though. You just need to taunt the rando before it worked before. Sarah Yams, thank you for, for gifting one membership to Jezzy B, by the way. Thank you so much for the support. Here we go. Goal 21. This one's for you. Let's do it. Let's just see. I'm not afraid anymore. Just just rip off the band-aid. Let's just let's just do it. Just do it. Ship jelly! Let's go! We can ship jelly! We can ship all our ancient fruit jelly! Pog! <laughs> Why am I so unreasonably excited for that? I don't know, but I'm here for it. Yes! Let me ship my jelly! <laughs> Oh, baby. Hold on, I'm going to open up Nightbot just so I want to be able to update these in real time. Just just for the, for the heck of it. For my own peace of mind. All right, let me go. Why is that so hype, though? Why is that so unreasonably hype? All right, goal 21. 21. Ship jelly. Are you jelly that I get to ship jelly? How many of you are jelly right now? Are you? I'm. I would be pretty jelly, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, that's. You know, it's good. For anything that we get to ship, it just makes making money that much more convenient for us. So, I am here for it every step of the way. All right. We should have some jelly just like ready to go. We've been building some up throughout the entire stream, right? Ship jelly. Should I just ship all of it? I don't see a reason not to just ship all this jelly right now. All this ancient fruit jelly. Ship Oceana. Yeah, we, like there's no reason to hold on to extra jelly. There's, it's not like we need it for crafting or anything. We're not cra we're not cooking any PB and J sandwiches. Although that does sound delicious. All right. Boom. Get shipped, you fool. Any recipes need jelly? Nope. Not that I recall, anyway. 
Should be having a sell slash ship day anyway. I don't know if we're going to do a full payday this stream. But I am, uh, I'm happy to be able to ship at least a few things. Boy, let me tell you what. I don't know what's going to ultimately stop this, uh, this randomizer goal train. But I'm willing to see it through to its logical endpoint here. Maybe we just have another, what if we just have, like, another, like, two hours of just, like, super easy goals. Double our freaking goal count. I don't know, it could happen. At this point, we're, we're at the point of the challenge where it's not an unrealistic possibility, but let's find out, shall we? We did complete the Bone Quest, Sugar Prince. We're, we're moved on a couple of goals ahead of that now. Speaking of, get that jelly shipped. Oh, that feels so good to see that in the shipping menu. My own hard-earned jelly, 12,650. Well-deserved send-off to your vacation. We finally, we've crested the hump of difficult goals, at least for a little while here. Okay. Hey, speaking of jelly, look at that. Um, just to verify, jelly, gooey, number shipped 11. Why is this the most, like, cursed little, like, item descriptor I've ever seen? <laughs> jelly, gooey, number shipped 11. Get some gooeys in chat. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, why is it gooey period? It's like a perfect, that's a great sentence. Just gooey. Sarah Yams, thank you for the $5 super sticker, by the way. Very cute little doggo. Thank you so much for the support. And Gray, thank you for being a member for 16 months at the Electron level as well. It says gooey. <laughs> Feeling a little gooey today myself, honestly. All right. Bring you on over over here to Chloe's little fishing hole for a minute while I bring up the randomizer again. All right. Boom, boom. Goal 21. Yeah, another, exactly. Like Thor, give me another. Finish goal. That's going to be like 3.7%. 3.7, we're closing in. We round up to 4% complete. Oh, beautiful. EVE, -E. thank you for the $2 super chat, by the way. $2 super gooey. Feeling super gooey right now. Can we get another gooey goal, do you think? I don't even know what the heck that means, but let's find out. Craft a brick floor? I have to buy the recipe for that from Robin, right? But otherwise, that's like, that's a, that's a path. <laughs> Wait, that's a path? Not that we really need it for the debris clearing purposes anymore, but we have a floor officially. We actually get to craft a floor. We can do some decorating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> craft a brick floor. The first path, baby's first path. Who would have thought that this journey would bring us... Who, who would have ever thought that we would craft a freaking bone mill before we'd get to craft a floor? <laughs> what on earth? What is this timeline, dude? What day of the week is it? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Are they available every day of the week? I'm just gonna, I mean, well, Tuesday Robin goes for aerobics, but we can, we can still catch her if we catch her at the right time, right? Yeah, we can catch her on the way out. If we get there early enough, it should be totally fine. Okay. Um, well, let's do our chores first and foremost, then. Might as well just get those out of the way. Boom, boom, boom. Pop them in there. We got a little bit of time to burn beforehand, so we might as well get our fruit trees. And then we will just, uh... I'll get the fruit trees, and then I'm gonna just book it up to Robins. I don't want to risk anything here. Yo, Allie, thank you so much for editing the goal, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. The stream is so hype. It feels good, man. After how long we've been, you know, just stagnating on so many goals, it feels good to have a little bit of a, of a rush of goals. We've had this in the past, though. Let's not count our chickens too much yet. We've had this in the past where we had, like, a decent string of, like, a few goals. 
but this feels different. Especially po in a post-gold clock era, this feels this feels really good. <laughs> Yo, appreciate that, Ali. Thank you. Oh, you don't you don't need to worry about the Batwing or anything. I'll I'll ch I'll add that. I have like a list of stuff that I'll add to to at the uh, at the end of the stream, like the, the the list of exclamation point complete goals. I'll update that. It's gonna be a big update. I'm telling you that right now. I don't know even when it's gonna stop at this point. I'm hyped up. What day is Junimo Day? I think it's today, right? No. Yesterday was Junimo Day. <laughs> Oops. That's fine. Today is still a good day for, for Junimos. It'll line up the harvests. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Ali. If you just keep the goal updated, updated, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. Go inside. I can't. It's not 9 a.m. But she'll be. I know she'll be wandering past the counter around that time. Wait for it. Wait for it. We probably should just buy all the recipes that, while we're here, right? All the ones that we can that we can muster. All right. She'll be coming out her bedroom when she comes. She'll be coming out the bedroom when she comes. Robin? She's sleeping in a little bit today. That's fair. Maru tricked you. <laughs> Walks past around 10-ish. Yeah, I think she gets out of bed at 9.30 and she'll be down here 10 o'clock or so. Here we go. Here we go. Is this lighter fluid? What the heck? Why is that on top of a pile of wood? Alright, shop. Shop for... Where are they? The brick... Just buy all the flooring recipes. I guess I can buy the brazier recipes as well. Just buy everything. Let's start with the brick floor, the one we we know we're going to need, and then just buy all the rest. No reason not to. We got the money to spare. Boom, boom, boom. I'll take it. Can't we get more if we, like, close out of here, and then, like, can we buy more recipes? Stone brazier. Give me, give me all the recipes. All the recipes, Robin. All of them. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. Not you're not going until I say you can go. Give me the stump brazier. Give me the give me the freaking skull brazier, the gold brazier. I want to I want to craft a bone brazier. I'm not done with these bones. I'm not done with you, Robin. Get back here. Skull brazier. Okay, I guess I'm done with you for now. I guess I'm done, all right? I'll come back. I'll be back for the marble brazier later though. So you mark my words. Is there flooring at the at the dwarf? I think the homie does have a rustic flooring recipe, but I'll save that for a different time. All right, what do we need to craft a brick floor? Brick floor is two clay and five stone. Chat, I don't think I have enough stone. <laughs> I don't think I have enough stone to craft this right now. I can go mining and get some. But that's pretty funny. I'll check my resources, but I mean, we just used a bunch of stone to craft a bone mill. I have seven. I do have seven stone, Pog. I thought I only had like two. <laughs> okay, we're good then. All right, brick floor get crafted. I got to do something with this brick floor now, though. I only have enough to craft one instance of, of brick floor. Can I put the brick floor down in here? I can. No. Hold on. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's a little bit cursed, but I'll I'll take it. You know what? Brick floor crafted and officially used. Can we get some of some of this face in chat, please? <laughs> it's perfect. It's a it's a constant reminder of one of our very first craftables. Our first craftable floor. 
arguably like one of the uglier floors in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of the brick floor, but this kind of makes me enjoy it a little bit more. <laughs> Chad, everyone looks so everyone looks so upset about the brick floor. Why are you all making that face? Why are you all making that face, Chad? What did we do? Oh no. <laughs> What did we do wrong? All right, I know what we did wrong. We're we're letting it linger too long. We gotta go get a new goal. Toot sweet, chop chop. Let's go make it happen, shall we? We don't even need to sleep till the next day. Bring you on in. Boom. I was here. Heck yeah. That was a long goal, that one. We had to wait like a couple in-game hours for that one this time. That was crazy. All right. Ooh, kind of a tough one. That craft the brick floor. I don't know what we're going to do with all the brick floors, but at least we have them now. Chat, we're starting to we're starting to unlock stuff. If Do you feel it? Do you feel that avalanche of unlocks coming on? Boom. Finish goal. 3.9%. Can we break 4% perfection this stream? This is the goal that will determine whether that's possible. 4%. Here we come with... Ship a salmon berry. I think we saved salmon berries. We saved salmon berries, right? Chat, tell me we saved some salmon berries. I think we did. I think we did. I'm gonna really hope so. <laughs> Let's go find out, shall we? If not, then you know, this this might be where the goal train ends for now. Let's go find out. Okay. All right. Current goal, goal 23, ship a salmon berry. Who saves salmon berries? I mean, I think I thought of this exact eventuality where we might need to ship a salmon berry. And I would hazard a guess that it's in my fridge. 23 salmon berries, baby! Is there any reason not to ship all of them? Chat, is there is there a reason not to ship all of these right now? A springtime berry with the flavor of the forest? Bear's knowledge. Yeah, it's, these, these aren't used for, like, a recipe or any, anything at all. Save one. I'll save one just for, you know, as a, as a little reminder. That's nice. Sarah Yams, thank you for yet another gifted membership to Emilio Slas. Thank you so much. I, I've, I greatly appreciate it. You're very being very generous today. Thank you so much. The hype is real. The hype train. Here we go. Let's go sh ship a salmon berry. This is two goals in a single Stardew Valley day. That might be a first, honestly. We got cra we got craft a brick floor and ship a salmon berry all on the same day here. That's pretty hype. Let's go check in with our Junimos as well. I believe it is Ancient Fruit Harvest Day, so we might as well go pick those up. Yeah, no salmon berries used in cooking, but I'm not opposed to holding on to one just for posterity's sake. Maybe we can put it on a sign at some point if we ever get to craft one of those. Quick stopover for our ancient fruit harvest. That's a lot. That's a lot of money just waiting to, to, to happen right there. Four hundred and forty-one ancient fruits. Holy! And fruit tree day. I think we did fruit trees uh, before we went to Robin, just to like bide a little bit of time. We did, yeah. Good looking out, though. All right. Chad, what if Chad? What if we got shipped ancient fruit? Oh, <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine a world where we get to ship our ancient fruit? I would be so happy. All right, but before we can even before we can even sniff it, what that might possibly be, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Lock in the salmon berries. Get some salmon berry emojis in chat. There they are. $110. The the best 110 I've ever earned, honestly. Feels good. 
<laughs> Waking up to that, that every day is going to be a unique experience. Ship banana. Look at our. We can look at. We can like look at our crafting goals and stuff now, dude. Number crafted five right there. Number crafted one. We get our the, the collections. They're starting to fill up. Salmon berries. Perfect. Thank you for the for the salmon berry or salmon salmon berry adjacent fruits. By the way. All right. Back to the randomizer we go. That one, it tried to throw us off. It threw me for a little curveball. If we didn't have those salmon berries, that could have been a, a bit of a longer goal. But not the case this time. All right. Finish it on up. We're just burning through these like it's nothing. That's 4% right there. 4.1% even. We are officially 1 25th of the way to perfection. And it only goes up from here. 4.1%. What's going to be 4.3%? Find out next time. I'm just kidding. Let's roll it. Craft the stone sign! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, baby! Ooh, I can feature all the things I want. It's a stone sign! I'm going to need more stone for this, I'm pretty sure. We don't have enough stone for this one, but... <laughs> When were we just talking about this? We wanted we wanted to be able to feature something. Someone did say that. You're right, Wickedy. Someone mentioned like, what if the sign was our next goal? And lo and behold, lo and freaking behold. Yeah, we need a little bit more stone. We are pretty stone poor right now. Craft a freaking stone sign, Iggy Bailey. Iggy Bailey summoned our stone sign. Let's go. So how much do I need to craft a stone sign? It's just a default crafting recipe. 25 stone, easy peasy. Let's go grab our pickaxe, head off to the mines, and, and just mine a couple little, or rather big, stones. We actually have to do some manual labor for this one. Who would have thought? Gosh, I don't even remember the or... You know what? I should be do. I should be... Where's I, I have a pen here. Do I have like a sticky note or something? Because for my own reference, I should be writing down the order that we got these goals in so that I can put them into the uh, like list of goals completed easily. So let me go ahead. I've got my pen. I've got my paper. Wait, the paper is being unpleasant. All right. So we did craft a bone mill. What was after craft a bone mill? It was, uh, ship. It was ship something, right? Hold on. I'm losing track of it even already now. Ship a bat wing. Ship a bat wing. Ship. Bat. Wing. Which was swiftly followed by... Jelly? Was, that wasn't jelly next, was it? Was it jelly next? I feel like there was something between those. Was it ship jelly? It was bat wing, then jelly, then floor. Okay, bat wing, then ship jelly, then craft floor, craft brick floor, then salmon berry. Ship jelly, craft floor, ship salmon berry. Yeah. Ship salmon berry. And now we are on to craft stone sign. Sign. Freaking five goals. That's five goals in addition to the to the bone mill. That's gonna be six goals this stream. What the, what on earth? That might, is that a new record? I feel like that's a new. That has to be a new record, right? We had we had like one stream a while back where we did like a decent number of goals, but six goals in one stream. There's no way that that's not, like, our personal best, right? Why am I mining rather than buying the stone? Because I can. <laughs> and if I can, then I freaking will. I don't, want to, I don't want to just have money be the answer to all of our problems here. I'm going to put in a little bit of legwork. Plus, stone is kind of expensive at Robin these days. And I only have $30,000 to, to spare right now. What do you mean I have 441 ancient fruit in my inventory? 
Yeah, and we don't this way we don't even have to wait for Robin. We can just we can probably get all the stone before she even wakes up. We've done one fourth of all of our goals this stream. That's that is such a that is such a sobering thought. Oh my gosh. We're what forty three streams in, and a quarter of all the goals we've ever done were done today. <laughs> oh, that's the that's just the that's that's how the randomizer is though. That's that's the heart of what makes the randomizer so fun. Is that you just never know how it's gonna go. Like, there's, there's bounty people out there who played their randomizer and they got, like, you know, 50-plus goals complete on their first, like, on their first play session or whatever just because they happened to, like, roll really lucky goals. And then there's us crafting if we're building a freaking desert obelisk as our, as our goal. You know what? Craft me a sign. So let's give the, let's give our homie a sign. How does this feel? What should we put on the sign? I'm gonna put. I'm not gonna encroach too much upon your space, my homie friend. What should we put on the sign to remind our our homie of us? Now that we actually have the opportunity to do something like this. A cairn. That is a kind of a sign of our friendship to a certain extent. Salmonberry. Homie sword. Can you put a sword on a sign? That'd be kind of fun. Fruit. We could also put a, an Omni Geode or something on there, like one of the like gifts that we were giving them. We have a Lemon Stone. We have a Lemon Stone, chat. It has, we have to give, it has to be a Lemon Stone. They deserve a Lemon Stone. It's, this is a symbol of our friendship, our friendship that, that will never die. No matter how many years this challenge goes on, the friendship with the homies is eternal. Can we get some homies in chat? A stone sign and a lemon stone for our homie. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friend. You the best. Do you think lemon stone tastes like lemon? Nah, it probably tastes like oranges. Because, I mean, it's, it's orange, so why would it not taste like oranges? All right. Stone sign successfully crafted. Let's go ahead and put away stuff we don't currently need. I'll swap out this goat to this milk for a little bit of cheese. Or vice versa. Tangerine. Good shout out. That is the absolute like exact color of tangerine, honestly. Is it cask day? I think cask day has been shifted to Friday now because I was like too enamored with my bone collecting spree. Oh, we can do... Uh, wine today at least but the goat cheese is is thrown off Boom, swap that out exploding with excitement you and me both this is <laughs> this is it feels so good after so long, it's been... Th what's the Pokemon meme? It's been 3,000 years. That's what it feels like <laughs> to these goals sometimes. All right, keep it going. What... what Chat, eventually, we're going to bust. We're going to hit a goal, and we're going to be like, oh, that one's going to be a little bit more involved. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to have to happen eventually. They, they can't just keep, you know, giving me these, like, softball underhand pitches the entire stream. I would I would love it. I'd love to keep this train rolling as far as we can and I'm going to I'm going to take it to the moon. That's right. I'm taking this train to the moon, mixing my metaphors and everything. Craft a stone sign. That's all done. It's been done. We can now craft as many stone signs as we want. And I'm going to craft all of them craft them and we can just have them all over we can use them as fun little decorations you don't realize how much you miss something like a stone sign or a brick floor until you can't use it for like <laughs> like 13 in-game years it's just, it's the little things it really is 
Oh my gosh, 4.3%. Here we go. Moving on to goal number 25. 25, it's a big one. Quarter of the way to 100. What do we got? Ship caviar. Okay. Huh. We have we have a sturgeon, right? We have a sturgeon. This is this is not as bad as it might seem, I think. It might be a good stopping point for the stream, but but ship caviar, it throws us for a bit of a loop. But fishing level? I don't think it'll give us a fishing level, right? Let me let's 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 do a little bit of research here. I'll probably call this a stream for this one and we'll save this for for next time because I think this is going to be a little bit more involved, but uh let's do a little bit of research like we like we tend to do anyway. Let me boop and boop. I could buy it from the cart. The traveling cart is uh banned in this challenge except for the rare seed. And we've already purchased that, so no uh no purchases from her for us we have to find this caviar ourselves all right i'm gonna bring you first i'm gonna we might go over to the wiki in a second but i am gonna bring you just in game first let's just have a look at the standings here right i'm pretty sure do, don't we have a sturgeon we got a sturgeon from somewhere i could have sworn we had a sturgeon it's just like hanging out somewhere Sturgeon, sturgeon everywhere, but not, not a one. I see no sturgeons. Okay, this makes things a little more prickly. Do we have a sturgeon pond? No, our two ponds are eel and blue discus right now. You meant buying the sturgeon? Does Krobus sell a sturgeon? Today is Wednesday. That's fish day from Krobus. We can go check. I think I think Krobus does sell sturgeons. We obviously can't catch one ourselves, so it's probably gonna come down to Krobus or the garbage can. Speaking of, I guess we could do a garbage. Well, I'll check Krobus first and then we'll do a garbage run. 15.2 XP for the row. 15.2, that's crazy. Well, you know what else is crazy? Sarah Yams with the $20 super sticker. That is an amazing sticker, too. Look at that. Holy Sarah, thank you so much for the generosity. Sincerely, that is amazing to see thank you so much i greatly appreciate it you don't you don't know how much it means to me thank you thank you this sturgeon that we're about to buy this one's for you sarah it's five shad it's you know five shad does not a sturgeon make unfortunately probus and the traveling car both sell sturgeon well one of those we can't use the traveling cart but but crobus is definitely on our radar Just make my life easy, why don't you? Sturgeon is available in summer. Um, Because I finally made it to the lake. Oh yeah, I'm here because spring is through. That's your hint. Spring is through. So summer's here, which means the sturgeon's here. So it has a chance to appear in one of these garbage cans. Could we find the Miracle Sturgeon? It would be too good to be true, but it would be it would be so poetic if we just got one today. <laughs> that would have been so good. A little trash Sturgeon. Alright, no luck on that one. I mean, what did you expect? But that is all good. So... The other thing I wanted to check before we get into anything here is what is our fishing experience at? I think we're still a decent ways away from fishing level two. I think we still have a pretty good amount of leeway there, so and we haven't like been doing anything extraneous with our fishing experience, so we should be totally fine to get uh, this without completely breaking the system. Let's go ahead and... Where's my fishing rod? That's the best way to check this. Little bamboo pole. We are 90... 
90 out of 280 experience for our next one. And Wickedy said uh, that Wicky doesn't list Surgeon as a trash can fish. I thought it was like any seasonal fish, but I could be wrong, I guess. Yeah, we definitely have some room there. Let me just pop it open on the wiki to confirm for myself. Let's see, sturgeon. Sturgeon fish pond. One row gives 18 fishing experience, according to the wiki. And we shouldn't have to complete any quests to get that, because a population of one still gives us a chance for, for row. And they don't have any other produce, actually, which is really good. Because that doesn't mean that means we're not gonna be able to like get stymied by getting something else in that fish pond. So we just get the row, we ferment it in our preserves jar, ship the caviar, and we're done. We are gonna need to build a, another fish pond though. Because we can't really empty our current fish ponds without gaining experience, I believe. Actually, maybe we can. If we fish out all the fish from a fish pond and then like let the day roll over, will that uh get rid of the experience, you think? Or get rid of the the stuff that's in there? It might. We could, we could do a quick little test and see if that would work. We're going to be cr checking Krobus daily for the next in-game year. Correction, we're going to be checking Krobus weekly for the next in-game year because he only sells fish on Wednesdays, so... these blue discus down here. So if I were to fish all three of the blue discus out, then number one, I know for a fact, by the way, that fishing out of the pond does not give fishing experience. Can you just reset the pond? I can't interact with the pond um, without gaining experience because any interaction I do with this to like activate a menu is going to give me the... I'm going to collect the row. Bomb it. Can't bomb it, unfortunately, either. I've tested that one. sleep and then try to reset the pond. I think we'll tackle this one. Maybe I'll do a little experimentation, like, between streams or something. But I am going to at least sleep and lock this in. This could be a longer one, depending on how long it takes to get this sturgeon. That's the only real limiting factor at this point, is that sturgeon. Just finding one. From there, it should be as easy as as anything else, honestly, that we've been doing today, so. But, that was a heck of a run. That was a heck of a streak of goals that we got right there. Craft a bone mill, ship a bat wing, ship some jelly, brick floor, stone sign. They just kept on coming. Ship a salmon berry, I even forgot about that one. We, there, were, there were so many, I totally just forgot about that one. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right, well, let's, let me do this, because that just switched over. Perfect. And what a perfect day to end on, too. A reminder of just how far we've come. As we lock it in, we ended on the Luau. The one festival that we would definitely not be here without, so... <laughs> Poetic, in a sense. Huge progress, for sure. But, all progress has to come to a halt at some point. And for us, that's going to be right now. Thank you all so much for joining me for this leg of the randomizer. We're going to continue with the randomizer on Thursday. We'll have one more stream before I go on vacation, but we'll also be streaming tomorrow, just not the randomizer. We're instead going to be doing the DTG speedrun in Stardew Valley, i.e. the Dwarvish Translation Guide. We're going to be speedrunning to see how fast from a fresh, fresh farm we can get the Dwarvish Translation Guide and talk to our homie. We're going to give that a whirl. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I'm excited to give it a try and find out. It seems like the exact kind of speed run it was made for us. It was made by Wickedy for us. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Enjoy some goat milk on the house. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. I'm going to leave you off with the usual fan art compilation. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye!